free ride I only ask you to show me a real good time I never asked for the rainfall At least I showed up, you showed me the thing I What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Oh, what's, really going on? Yeah. what's up? What's up? Welcome to Fast Break, presented by the Soapbox. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Andre Oje, and your moderator. And you can follow me on IG at KingAndre007. Next up, we got Paul Robinson. Introduce yourself, sir. Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. <laughs> PR1995 IG, PR1995 Flossy Twitter. Facts, facts, facts. And and don't forget our own for the soapbox at the soapbox SB on everything, everything. On not to everything. mention, not to mention, we're on Apple Podcasts, on YouTube, on SoundCloud. Shout out S N D Podcast. Shout out to S N D Podcast. Shout out every episode, even though we didn't do that last episode. But shout out every episode. Shout out every podcast channel. Next up, we got the Prince of New Jersey, but only New Jersey. My yeah. son, oh, wait a minute. But not your favorite already zone. Know. But not your favorite <laughs> zone. That's crazy. That's my favorite zone. Why are you holding on to that? Huh? <laughs> Let that man have that. It's a fact. He's nah, listen, 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 listen. He can keep Jersey as far as I'm... That's, he can be the Prince of Jersey if that's what he wants. Listen, you, we already know who our, our listeners' favorite zone is. That's Why a fact. Why fact. are we doing this? That's a fact. Let, Let the listeners decide. Sports. Lugans, oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's It'll be funny if that man. It'll be funny. It'll be funny if that man was actually Haitian. That'd be hilarious. But no, he is. He is. It always is confirmed. What do you mean? Okay, okay. 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 You didn't see that Haitian crazy. Respect him. Right. Oh, right, right. He's actually Haitian. Come on, bro. That man's man. his own for real. Okay, okay, okay. His own for real. Come on, man. And then last but not least, we have we have the. The man who's yeah, I ain't even getting to put my Instagram Come on, my, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Come on, <laughs> say, say, crazy, your IG, say your IG, Al DDA, but don't even spell it. This is Al, Al underscore DDA. I'm not even saying it right. But I'm not spelling it no more. That's, a, That's fact. a fact. That's a fact. And last but not least, the man who's dubbed himself the voice of the streets. Introduce yourself, sir. It's a fact. It's a low-key JD. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. <laughs> you already know. Um, Clearly. At Loki underscore JD. That's it. Real IG. simple. It's about Real it. simple. Real yeah, simple. I like that. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for this other you? episode. Who am I? I introduced myself first. I thought you said you were a hijack in your intro. Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me because I said this before. Before we get into uh, everything that we're going to dive into this episode, which is we have a whole list of topics for you guys. I want to take a moment to be very, very serious about something that has been plaguing law students um, across New York State who are trying to take the bar and get licensed and serve New York State residents in a ton of different ways. And this includes myself and Al DDA, who, I, I don't know why I said your Instagram. Uh, me, <laughs> just call well, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> me and Alan, who, who are uh, recent law school graduates. So we are um, currently fighting for a diploma privilege in New York, which will give law students who've recently graduated an alternative to getting licensed without taking the bar. And the reason is not because we're afraid of hard work or anything like that, is because we've been forced to deal with a ton of things like technical issues, data breaches, um, constant pushbacks, work being in the way. Some people had uh, employment contracts that began as early as last month that they can't get out of and they're supposed to uh, study while you know doing full-time work. So the whole point in pushing for this is for us to be able to um, get into the profession and to be able to work and be able to do whatever we need to do without necessarily having a go with this bar exam that has pretty much been inequitably uh, forced upon us in this season of a pandemic. So all that being taken into consideration, we will be posting a phone number for you guys to call um, with a brief little script of what to say. It literally takes 30 seconds or less, but it's such a simple fight that you can join in. It'll be having a huge impact on tons of law students like Alan and I. But that's my side note. Serious side note. Um, now let's get into the topics for this episode. So what we are discussing on this episode of Fast Breaks is going to be our reactions from last series. So last round, our reactions to this series right now, because the Heat are giving the Celtics uh, some really some real work, honestly. And our predictions for now. Locker room. The whole locker room. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard I hear they're screaming. You forgot to say that they, we're recording this right after game two. Mm, right right. On September 17th, 
right now. So if we are wrong about something, don't hold us against us. We are recording on September 17th. And we're also going to talk about our predictions for next round, which will likely be... We'll talk about it soon. Let's start with last round, all right? Let's start with last round. And I want to take it to a very specific place. I want to talk about the Bucks Heat series. And the reason I want to talk about that is because last episode I said... Giannis is what? No. Last episode I said... That is what was said. said. Last episode I said... That is what was said. That's not what I said. Last episode I said that Jimmy Buckets was... And I called that man by his proper name. Jimmy Buckets was offensively overrated. I'm sorry to that man. I don't apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to that Mm. man. I've seen... Mm -hmm. I, he has been everything I thought he was, plus the offense. and he is, Everything you thought he was, everything you thought he wasn't. No, everything I thought he was. A great wait, leader, what? elite defensive player. Wait, wait, then, wait. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Let me just, yeah, right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. great leader, great elite, elite defensive player. But he's making the offensive plays as well. He's turning his defense into offense. It has just been great to watch, and he's given work. So these teams that everyone, including myself, thought we're going to escort the Heat right out the, right out the playoffs. So we have to talk about that series because the Heat were really giving the Milwaukee, um, Milwaukee work. And despite Giannis, hey, you know, just real quick, real quick, podcast listeners, today's the start. I think they were keeping account. All the players under disrespect. And that's that's their Let's nah. go. This Let's is two so far. Who's two? Who's the second? Who's the second? Mm. Who's the second? Yo Who's the... No, 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 no. I have nothing to apologize for. I have nothing to apologize for. Nah, 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 nah. I have nothing like, to apologize for. Two, two years ago, you said Jokic was whack. I we all try to tell you that man was nice. And the very next year, we proved it wrong. That's a podcast. That's straight up not what I said. That's straight up not what I said. I got two witnesses right here. Let's go. I said, I said, and I quote, he is not a top 20 player. And I was right. Back then, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Player. Yes, you're right. He wasn't. Exactly. No, I he said, no, not. you weren't right. You were not right. He wasn't. A, in 2017, I'm sorry, in 2018, I can Whenever you said it, players. we can go back to the tapes another time. We can go, go back, back to the tapes. Yeah, we, are, we, we are keeping the count of stars in Underdog. Run through the tape. Run, <laughs> run that tape. Chris run that tape. Weber. We will find it. Find it. Find it. Run through the tape. At, at, at Paul Robbins. Put that on a t-shirt, Underdog. Put that on a DVD player. Run the tape. <laughs> and when you're... Wait, so when I'm right, what do I get? Do Nothing. I think? Good. The heck? Fast Breaks does not support gambling. <laughs> That's not a gamble, if you're right. I'm trying to make bets and whatnot. Yeah, what do I get? Make... <laughs> what do you what get? Do I get? What do you want? Do you want a reward? On, yes. Yes. No, but... No, but um, going back, to, I want to I want to get your thoughts on the Milwaukee Heat series because I have given my thoughts. Jimmy Butler proved me wrong, all that, but Giannis proved me way wrong because I thought he was going to do much much better than he did, and I thought his team Why? was going to perform. Why did I, I think so? No post moves. Ha! <laughs> you know, no. I really I really thought after after getting worked by Kawhi Leonard last year that he'd come back with more ferocity, and he showed the ferocity against the Orlando Magic. That's going against the magic. You know, you go down the streets of the heat and you're not going to be able to play the same kind of basketball. They're not going to let you get the same things. Wait, you said so ferocity? I, ferocity. So you, you think that he didn't come ferocious? I don't think, I don't think, he, I don't think he played hard enough. If I'm being really, honest. really, I don't think he played hard enough. I don't think, <laughs> really, no, that's I don't think so. That's I don't think he, I don't think he played hard enough. I don't think he, I don't think he was smart enough either in terms of how he was trying to get past. He, you, you keep seeing, you know, if you try to go through a wall and you're not getting through it, obviously your meth is not working. He kept seeing the same defensive collapse, collapses happening against him, and he never changed up. So what should he have done? But uh, that's a, due to a lack of his ball game. Ball. That, that is a lack of his game. He that's needs to shot. Ball. He needs to shoot. He needs to be able to shoot, even just a little bit. Uh, See, I think the problem with Giannis is that yeah, Giannis's talents, they're great for a regular season run. Because a through a regular season, each night you're going through a different team who can't adjust defensively in the middle of a game to Giannis just going through the paint and bodying defenders. But in a playoff series where you have seven games, you can adjust the defense after game one or two, and now you would protect the inside of the paint in a different way, and you prevent Giannis because he has flaws and weaknesses in his game where he can't shoot. He can pass very well. He's an underrated passer. Yes, he is. People, people do not talk about his passing enough. But I just don't think that Giannis, his skills can like translate to a, a good, solid playoff performance at this point in his career. Because all a defense has to do is switch over, like you know, 
and they got him. That's collapsed, collapsed, you know, just collapsed, collapsed the paint. Collapse. <laughs> and then, and it's crazy because Paul and I have talked about it, but certain possessions where Giannis is your MVP, he's the star of your team, you know, you if, it's, if it's a three point, yeah, if it's a three point game where it's, it's a possession where you need a shot, you can't rely on him. He can be in the game for some reason, you know, maybe he can get fouled and one or something, but you can't rely on him to be that guy. And that's a problem, you know. What do you think, Alan? Because I, I haven't heard you speak on this. Uh, I don't know about the, the three point shot to get a win thing. I think. Well, what if you what if you took that step back once instead of necessarily just a three point shot? What if a shot in general, like a consistent shot, maybe a mid range, maybe? Listen, I I think at this point in his career, he's not going to have a consistent shot. Like I think it's going to he's going really? to. Because, look, when I look at it, all the players who just aren't good at jump shots are just not good. Like, we keep going back to LeBron, but LeBron's still not that great at jump shots. Like, he has a reliable one that he could just make a couple every game. But that's still – like, no one is out there, like, on LeBron like that for three. Like, you're still, this, his, this thing is still – hold up. This thing is still, like, driving. If LeBron beats you on, like, jump shots, that like, you, you live with that. I mean, that's, that's the best thing I'm going to do. But, like, I, I think I, I said it last – I, I said it over and over again. I think his best bet is to learn post moves. Like, he has no offensive moves. Learn post moves. I think that'll open his game up more. That's a fact. I think that'll open because you can't wall up on post moves. The best you could do is double post moves, and that's going to leave his right open. Um, other than that, I think his teammates got to step it up. The thing is, though, with him, he did, like, he didn't play that bad. If you go back and look at the numbers, he didn't play that bad. He still put up good numbers in most of the games, but he, don't, he didn't elevate his game. And that's the problem. It's because he has no moves, though. He didn't elevate his game at all. You're a star. When you're supposed to be a number one option, that's what you got to do. You got to elevate your team in those situations. Now, yeah. before I move on to Paul, I want to put a pin in that for a quick second, Alan, because I want to go back to you uh, with two questions I had. So you said we – you brought up LeBron. This is uh, question number one. You brought up LeBron, a guy that wasn't a good shooter. Now he might have a little consistent shot, which, you know, obviously I agree with you. We talked about it. But what about a guy like Kawhi, who also came into the league, not a good shooter? Around the 25 to 26-year-old mark, he actually started hitting the shot consistently. So, you know, oh, there are – talking about Kawhi Leonard? Oh, yeah. Kawhi is a special case then. Hold on one second, Alan. That's, that's question number one. And then question number two is you brought up the question of elevation. And you're talking about elevating his game. And this is why I think Jimmy Butler is a better leader. How do you see Giannis that's elevating funny. his teammates? That's funny. That's so funny. That, that's what I'm saying. He didn't. Mm-hmm. He didn't elevate his teammates at all. That's what I was saying. Um, but going back to like the Kawhi thing, I don't know. Kawhi, that's, that was, that's a special case. Most people don't come in and shoot as well as he does after like not being able to shoot well in the beginning of the career. But I don't know. Some people just got it like that. I don't know. Kawhi is a special case. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Paul, I want to get your thoughts. What do you, so, what do you think on, about all this? Hold on, hold on, Alan. If if you said LeBron doesn't have a rely like like a nice, he's not, he's not. He's not. I'm trying to figure out the proper way to say it to get my point across. He's not a shooting threat. I don't he's care not, what highlight. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, yeah, not, he's not a shooting. He's hey, not a threat. Man, come on, man. He's not a come on, man. Come on, man. man. When that man looks at his hand, he looks at his hand. It's <laughs> it a step. It's you know what's going on. Man, you know what's going on. And you all he know has to win has, LeBron. And that's what and games and where he Giannis gets can't hot. even do that. Giannis can't even do that. He has games where he gets hot, but overall he is not a shooting threat. Like if LeBron beats you on jump shots for a whole series or whatever, like what can you do about that? Your, your goal when you go into the game, your goal is but not, he can. I don't think he can. I don't think he can. I haven't seen this man be a good consistent jump have a good consistent jump shot in two games in a row. In twenty sixteen. In 2016, in a row. 2016, that that's man was hitting. I got to go back and look at it. I got to go back and look at it. 2015, no, that's a, 2015, he lost. But 2015. I, I think I one of the best basketball, like some of the best basketball I ever saw in my life. Man. It was. I got to go back and look at it, but I don't think that man has a super shooting shot. Driving. Wasn't, what was the year that he was averaging 70% from the field and not taking any shots? That was in Miami. That was on Miami. So 2015. Yeah. So not 2015. So 2015. You're saying that, but I, I still remember him in 2015, heavily relying on that jump and yeah. kick out. Uh, I'm sorry, that drive and kick out. But all right, listen. listen but there was listen, there was nobody there. Listen, listen. In the finals, mean? it was different. Listen in 20. Listen, 
his game is always going to be drive and kick or drive and dunk on people. And that is fine. But if you don't have some type of jump shot, some type that is reliable that you could go to, that you could beat people with, then you're not going to do anything unless you're a big man. So Giannis has to get at least that. Like, I know you say he doesn't have a reliable jump shot, but if Giannis got the jump shot that LeBron got right now, it's a wrap for the whole league. It's That's a, a fact. It's a wrap. It's and, a at wrap. Least, and at least it's the confidence to take it. Because even when LeBron was worse at shooting in his first stint with Cleveland. He still took it. He took a he ton was so, of it. He was trying. Yeah, he, if he had to defeat I, I've seen, I've seen him take a few, though. He, he's, been, he's been getting he's his he's shooting threes. Like, I remember in, in the Heat, when he beat the Warriors, he, he shot a three just in their face. Game winner. Didn't care. And he wasn't I, necessarily good at shooting threes back then. I hearken the back. Warriors? Yeah, yeah, I remember, that. I remember that game, but like that's a game. Where, like he just took the shot because he had to. Like, nah, he nah, he was walking up. He just walked up and shot it. Yeah, there was a game, game where you had to, to shoot that. He could have run. I mean, y- for, uh, you think Giannis would shoot that? He could have run a pass to somebody else. Now, now with Chris Middleton on your team, why would you shoot it with Chris Middleton on the team though? Hold on, one LeBron second. Chris Middleton had a good shoot with you. LeBron had Ray Allen. LeBron had Ray Allen on his team. So, Ray so Josh, Josh, I want to go back and look at that. We'll go back to that, but I, I want to harken back to one thing. December 19th, 2019, I saw Giannis hit five threes in a game. He has a shot. He can do it. Come he on, just man. doesn't. He <laughs> doesn't. Oh, oh, no. Come on. Oh, oh, I saw Corey Brewer drop 50 points once in a game. That's I saw Terrence Ross drop 51. No, That's no, no, but, but so here's the so, – Le, uh, not LeBron. Giannis was averaging 33% from three-point range for the year. So he's taking the shot. He's just not a threat. He's not he started, considered a threat. He's no, not – in big moments, he doesn't take the shot. He's still nah, afraid of it. No, nah, he can't hit – look, he started off hot in the beginning of the year and then progressively got worse. That's why it looks like – Why do you think Why do you think that is? Is because, it because lack of confidence is – just not the hell because way he's that not his style nice game like is? that from shooting uh, at shooting. He's just not nice like that. I but saw I saw a, something on Instagram where they said um, they were showing Giannis's like rookie jump shots yeah. and showing how he shoots now. This man shoots like Joakim Noah now. Back then he was That's shooting not. like like Kevin Durant. The form, just the form. I'm not talking about the the percentage. The form. If he kept that form, it might be a different Giannis right now. Mm. Got too brolic. Can't shoot. Got too. You know. That, you know. I heard that. <laughs> that's, like a that's, a, that's, a, that's a. That's a thing. That's a thing. If you got too brolic, you lose that form. You really grabbing do. Grabbing the basketball with both hands. <laughs> Crushing the basketball. <laughs> that's how you have to hold on to it when you're going to the ring. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hey. 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 Bugging out. But now, now that we talk about. Again. Now that we've oh, talked about – I'm going to save the Clippers for the last talk. But now that we've talked about uh, the Lakers <laughs> – no, I'm sorry, not the Lakers, Milwaukee and uh, Heat. I want to talk about Lakers-Rockets because we talked about LeBron a good amount. And LeBron defeated small ball. That's all I want to say. LeBron defeated the idea – the small ball experiment needs to die because, as Paul mentioned, the world will Rocket blow up. The world, the world Rocket, will Rocket blow up. Horrible culture. A horrible the world culture. will blow up before a team wins. You can blame Darren Moore for that. Daryl Morey, I saw Spring. mid-rangers that should have been taken that were not taken. I saw Tyson Chandler chilling on the bench, planning wearing his retirement. <laughs> He's wearing not- joggers. I was um wearing joggers. I was, I was, I was looking into Daryl Morey after I lost yesterday to see. Yeah, yeah, research. yeah research, research that man. Research him. <laughs> yeah, this man has no basketball background. He Come didn't on, play in college. Come he did not on. play in college. <laughs> he never played overseas. He's not. He, he, he's literally like. A, a statistician I went to like MIT and stuff. Like yeah, this man has no. That that's why. Yeah. That's Big why. Did he did research. he did he study um that study? Did he did, was he a coach? Not coach, but like did he work in basketball before yeah, in the front office? Yeah, he research. worked in the front office. Wait, wait, wait. Like, wait, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> what did you say? Stuff. What did you say, Josh? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? This man's bugging out. <laughs> what did you say? Say with your chest. Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> that Big Sean <laughs> What did Big Sean say? <laughs> he says, these Zoes be doing research. Well, <laughs> research, he research. <laughs> he didn't say that. No. <laughs> he didn't say that. He didn't. Bugging out. Bugging out. Go listen to that song, man. 
Did he there's really a remix. say that? There's a remix. There's a remix. Oh, <laughs> remix. oh there's a remix? Oh, you made right. that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it's with Wycliffe. It's with Wycliffe. Yeah. 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 Oh, man, man. Oh, man. Yeah, but that man has no basketball. That man has no basketball, <laughs> and you can tell. No basketball looking, background. You can tell. You can tell because he's thinking. And I kind of. I, I have some black gems. I kind of hot. I kind of figured that he didn't have like a good foundation when he was like, "We're not taking mid rangers anymore," and that was a little skeptical to me. And they were getting into the playoffs with it, and I'm like, "All right, that's fine," but they're not advancing. They're not doing anything. And when you're, that's fine on a regular season team. That's going to get you into the playoffs. That's allow fine. me. Allow me to go in a little bit. On the mm-hmm. Rockets, please, a little bit. That's that's fine. I'll give you a leeway. I'll just make this last point, and it's all yours. All I'm gonna say is you're not. That's not a winning brand of basketball. If you're giving up an entire percentage of shots from ten to fifteen feet out, where you can really just get opportunity, there's no reason that you don't have big men running the floor, especially on a team like this. You don't need many. You can just have the one Tyson Chandler, and you can play small ball throughout the rest. You need somebody that's gonna get rebounds besides Russell Westbrook. You really do. And without that kind of edge to the team, I don't know. They got to go back to the drawing board. The Rockets too. That's fine. You Paul first, then you can go. But you. they got to go back to the drawing board. They got to figure out what to do because this isn't it. Paul, go ahead. Rockets in. have a horrible basketball culture. They whine. They they call out refs in post game conferences. They don't take mid range shots. Mm-hmm. They 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 go by stats and stats centers. alone. Mm-hmm. They they they. That's why they don't have a center. And listen. D'Antoni may not be coming back, but as long as Daryl Morey's there with his Daryl Morey m- mindset, yeah, that's not doing, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. It doesn't matter. People got to look at Daryl Morey a little more, man. It's not like... That's that's right. that, man, that man is <laughs> running James right into the ground. Man, that's a fact. That's, that's a fact. fact. Come on, man. All right, I got to say something. I can't, even blame, I can't even blame Westbrook or, or Harden for losing. They don't have a... Or, I can't even blame D'Antoni. I blame that Tony. I blame that Tony. He's part of that Tony. He wanted to get rid of the Sunday. He said he should have mm-hmm. He said he he said he wanted to do it with the Suns, but didn't have enough like courage to do it at the time. Oh nah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, that's, that's crazy. A, I, no, I thought I thought he just said you should have taken that many threes with the Suns. No, he wanted to take more threes and he wanted that's to go small, like without that's the Sunday. He said, oh, he nah. mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. The Rockets. Go on, Josh. Let me hear us. It's not like really going in. It's just I feel like they're stuck in a limbo, and and I've seen it before with my own former team, the Los Angeles. Wait, Clippers. wait, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> my wait. own former team, former? the Los Angeles. Clippers. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah, man. I'm you done putting on a Max Kellerman. No, I'm, I'm done with basketball. I'm retiring. Pulling a Michael Jordan. What do you mean? Mm. <laughs> what right, do anyway. you mean? Anyway, anyway, you know Michael wait. Jordan came back so in the game, t- right? You know he came back, right? Yeah. Just, yeah. just so you know. But oh, after championships, I'm confused. All right, all right, all right. But anyway, um, so when the Clippers oh, were like going through the 2010s, they kept meeting like something, an obstacle that would prevent them from moving forward, prevent them from getting out the second round. Usually, it was the Warriors. Um, well, actually, it never was. Actually, it never was the Warriors. They they lost to the Thunder. They lost to the Rockets. They lost to the Jazz. And then they lost to Portland. Mm-hmm. But the Rockets, they always lost the Warriors. And so, like, I when I was watching that team throughout the 2010s, the Clippers team, I remember, like, after they choked and they didn't accomplish, you know, their goal in 2015 and in 2014, the team, like, the players on the team started looking like they had this, like, pressure right because they had their best opportunity to win the championship and they didn't achieve it like they just disappointed and i feel like that same kind of thing has happened in houston over the years for the same amount of time as when the clippers you know as when the clippers were having it you know houston is trying to try all these different things with harden they tried they've tried the dwight howard experiment mm-hmm. they've tried the westbrook experiment they've tried the chris paul experiment They've tried Mori Bowl, you know, and they keep having opportunities. And I don't know which year specifically would have been their best. I think maybe when they got to game seven with Chris Paul, it was probably their best chance yeah, at winning it all. I would, I would agree with that. I would say that year is probably their best chance. And when you when like when you're in that kind of situation, you know, you're talking it. about 2018. 
when the when KD was still on the Warriors? No, no, no. We talk about the Clippers. Chris Wait. Paul was even on the Clippers. He's talking. He's talking about the I'm Rockets. Talking about the Rockets. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I talking, disagree with that. I'm talking about I'm talking with... about the Rockets. I'm talking about when the Rockets were with Chris Paul and they got to Game Seven. Like, sure. I think yeah. that was their best chance to. I'm saying that was their best chance to win. <clears> the they were up three one. They were up because they were up three yeah. one. Like, yeah, they they were a win away from getting there. You know, They're all the three, momentum. Man. Momentum. Yeah, the momentum was there. Like these three one leads are like crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> this used to not be a thing. On, this used to not be Adam Silver. It's become a curse. If you Adam go, Silver, <laughs> Adam That's Silver. Maybe Listen. it is Adam Silver. It, since it, he got in this commission in this league, that's, I, I, that's all I've them. seen. This used to be historical. Now it's every day. That's a fact. But yeah, so I think like when you Mike, realize that doubles. as a team, when you realize Why you that as a team, like, why you gotta say was, that? Why you gotta say that, Paul? Let him talk, moderate. <laughs> when you realize this, that was your best chance, and that next year or something like that. And it, I'm going to return to this point when I talk about the Clippers later. Your former right. team? Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Is that. that is but when you realize this is your best chance because all these other variables are out the way, like other players are injured, other things are just kind of going your way, and you still don't get there, like, it's just, it's like grinding at you, you know? It's like... It's, it's like nails on the chalkboard as a team. You can't seem to get over the hump. And I feel like the Rockets are doing that again. I don't know what has to happen, but Harden, I think. I don't know. I think he has a dip, bro. You know what? You know what? I disagree, though. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do you think he has, he has a dip? Because, I mean, what's probably going to happen, he's going to stay there for his whole life. But, like, what, nah, what's going to happen? I uh, See, I disagree with that. <laughs> he's going to win? You know why I disagree with that, there. though? You know why I disagree with that, though? Because... The Rockets have tried so many different things that the Clippers didn't. Like the Clippers just played good basketball and then like internal issues of like team mm-hmm. regular team. That's true too. The Rockets are different. They don't even play basketball. I don't know what that is. How are you in the NBA <laughs> without a center? Give, what is that? Sorry. What is that? That's 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 a different level of like. Centers like, need appreciation. We need foul calls and we need appreciation. Come on. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> foul calls. Listen, uh, this man's talking about two K right now. He said it. If someone yeah. like Shaq was in the league or somebody, they would find it offensive. You know, like I'm surprised Shaq doesn't find it offensive right now. Honestly, because yeah. if I was a big man, I would say, "How dare you put PJ?" But, but at the same time, they play many big men, and none of them have done it. I'm talking to you, but, Anthony Davis, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, you did not no, go no, up no. that series. Oh, you no. Not, you did not. No, no, no. Tell him, oh, tell him, oh, tell him, oh, oh, tell him. You did not go up. But that, that's, like, what I'm saying is, like, they men just don't take advantage of it. Yeah, but I, I think it's seen, because you need, not a, seen big men beat them. you need an equal but, balance of big men and shooters if you are going to mm. really take advantage of it because the way the Rockets are set up, their wing defenders – if they collapse on the big man, they can kind of guard him and do like a little hedge, but then also get back to the shooter in time. So unless your shooter is very good at making that kind of shot out there, then you are stuck. You know, the wing defender is playing like a zone in a way. Yeah. I hedging agree. both people. And you so know you what? have to have a bounce. And you know so, why the Lakers beat them so easily? Because LeBron is bigger than everybody. Too. Exactly. Literally. Literally you violating can't, not only can you not guard big men, you gotta guard it's, LeBron too. You can't play help. Crazy. You can't play help. Westbrook, could not, even make Westbrook could not guard LeBron. That's they were they're trying to do that. I love Westbrook. Obviously, y'all know that, but that's not a fair matchup for him. LeBron is too big, he's way a, too big. He's not a point guard. Like, well, they gotta put their <laughs> they gotta put their wing defenders on the centers. The people it's, who it's, are it's, guard it's, him it's not, it's, are it's on not the big. And let the me, is, it's not even that they just had Westbrook like just straight guard him. They just switch everything, so it's easy to just exploit mad different matchups like that. Like, and he's too good would, of a in, this, in the same possession, like Jeff Green is guarding him, and the next thing you know, Eric, Eric Gordon is guarding him too in the same possession. Oh, well, Eric and Gordon Anthony Davis. That looking at that got me. Yes, that's no, crazy. And Anthony Davis is still in that eat. Anthony Davis is still in that eat. All I'm gonna Anthony say, Anthony Davis will stand at the three point <laughs> line. You soft boy, you at the three point line. You and soft. It, it just be chilling. <laughs> let me put it this way. Let me put it this so, way. Let me do a fadeaway. If oh, if Giannis was if man Giannis thinks was it's a, KD, let me tell you. Giannis was oh, an nah. 80s place. And thinks he's Giannis Brandon was, Ingram. If Giannis was an '80s place, if Giannis was an '80s place, you would have violated. 
if AD had a Shaq mindset, a real Shaq mindset where you're going to be big, you're going to be mean, and you're going to violate these guys every play, no. he would have gone off. He needs that mindset. AD doesn't even want to play that position. He doesn't. You, he you know what gets me tight, though. He, he wants to be a small forward like so bad. The past five years. Mm-hmm. The past five you know, years. You know what really gets me tight, every though. coach that wants to put him at the center. That's a fact. So, I think I think Josh said it. They they paid Omar Ashik like <laughs> they paid Omar money Ashik just <laughs> <laughs> mad. They overpaid that man. They gave him they did not contract. want to be the center. Oh, think man. about that. That's crazy. He just like him on that lead. team. He just like history in the league. Yeah, he did. He did. And, but that's no disrespect. Omar Ashik is nice. on the roster right now because Eddie doesn't want to start at center. Javale McGee gets a fact. He comes in, plays five minutes in the first quarter, just the rest of the game. That's so Eddie don't play the rest of this. But he's been huh? that's just the Warriors. Though. I don't know what's going. That's true. On. That's we gotta talk about this. Why does Javale McGee start on every Never team finish. the past <laughs> three Never years finish. and then goes right to the men's and comes in the third quarter and goes that's right to the for the rest of the game? Why? He's you know not. What it is. He's not a high you know IQ is. player. He's a no. high athletic player. That's he, like he's productive he you, in the. He's scenario. productive. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's athletic. He's, he's athletic. He does his job so well. But he, more. he's not. No, 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 no. But that's that's a problem. That he's not consistent. He's one of those people, you know, there's that badge where it's like spark plug in 2K, 2K. where they just come in, they come in, oh, no. they make it a little difference, and they go back on the bench. Get back on there. You can't be playing for the wild ball. Jamal Cross- Crawford was like that. Dennis Johnson. Come on, man. Dennis Johnson. KC Jones. Come on, man. The microwave. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Black coaches. The, oh, my God. Sam Jones, the Jones brothers. Come on, Come on, man. Come on, man. What do y'all know about the joke? Come on. Man. Come on, man. It's NBA history right there. All Come on, on, man. All I'm going to say kids. is that, is that <laughs> the, the Rockets need to heavily. First of all, they need to go pursue Greg Popovich if he's leaving the Spurs. Is that man really leaving the Spurs? Why don't man's really real? up his name, man? I haven't been, I've been seeing that a lot. I've been seeing that a lot in the interwebs. He's retiring regardless. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, why do they keep bringing up his name in culture? Position? I don't think he's leaving the Spurs to go elsewhere. I think he's leaving the Spurs to go home. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm just saying, if he does one more year, if he does one more, because because the Spurs, the, him and the Spurs are done. So, <laughs> Russ is my favorite player, but imagine imagine Pop trying to coach Russ. That would be fun. <laughs> well, it's either gonna go one or two That's ways. What he needs, uh, but I, don't know. I can see, I can see that going very badly. Coach oh, Stephen Jackson. Ray. You're right. You're right. Actually, yeah, that that might be where Russ is. Then that might be exactly. You're gonna if that happens, you're gonna see Russ have the most efficient shooting percentage I'm telling he's you. ever had. I'm telling he's you, he's ever had. I'm telling you know what you know the problem with Russ is? I love Russ, but it's you know who you really blame. You want to blame someone for Russ's shooting percentage? It's one man only, Billy Donovan. This man said you can go do. No, hold on. Oh, actually, actually, no. Yeah, you might have a point. Let me tell you something. This man said, right. "Go do, go do whatever you want." And he said, "Whatever I want," and he said, "Yeah, whatever you want." Well, he said, "Wait, money. you can't, you can't, you can't be a for that." Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come on, was man. he shooting back in UCLA? I don't know. I don't think he was. I think he was just question. athletic. A great question. He had a little shot for years. At one point, in, in, in UCLA, he was actually like more defensive type player. Yeah, that's what I remember. I remember him being yamming it on people and just playing def- defense. It's a fact. Like a football player. That's a fact. <laughs> a running back. But but did Bill Donovan did have that team shoot? I say this. And let me tell you one thing. Shoot mad for this one reason. That's a fact. He turns Giannis, back into the one shooter. Giannis onto the compo is just a taller Russell Westbrook. That's a fact. That's not even. A, okay. That's not. That's not even a bad thing. He just he just needs a shot. Mm-hmm. He just needs a shot. Now what if they are on the same team? I would love that. Oh would that be good or bad? That. I would no, love that. It would be great. Would that be successful? They don't, they don't, they don't need it. That's not the thing. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Just listen. Just listen. He just, just wants listen. to see big things. They're going to pass it. They're going to pass it back to each other. They're going to pass it back. No, no, you shoot it. No, you shoot it. No, you shoot it, bro. You shoot it. Here's why I would love it. It would be highlight play after highlight play. That's not winning basketball, but it would be fun to watch. be watching taps every night. Come on, man. Come on, man. It would be funny to watch. I would love to see. You know who oh really – who God. Giannis, who Giannis really needs? He needs Chris Paul. That's who that man needs. That man needs lethal shooter on that Instagram, me, man. That me, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> lethal shooter. 
Link Giannis. Sponsor us, sponsor us, sponsor us. For the good of the league. For the good of the league. Yo, Shooter, come, come as a guest. I'm, I'm just hanging him in this. Hey, 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 Come on, man. Go help Giannis. He needs your help. The buck stops here. Oh, stop. Oh, wait a second. Oh, stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now we got to violate the Clippers. Now we got to violate the Clippers. But first, let's talk about Let's talk about Toronto. Let's talk about Toronto. Let's talk about Toronto. Listen, man. That was just good I've basketball. I've told y'all before. Until I've told y'all before. Bad basketball. Kyle Lowry is the greatest Raptor of all time. He's still so not the not, greatest Raptor. So I don't care what you the, see. Why is he not in the conference care. finals? Why is he not? Answer Mike. Why, why is he not in the conference finals? Kawhi's not there either. That's a fact. Kawhi's the best player in the world, and he's not there. So. And Demar Derozan's okay. not being in the playoffs. Mm. Let's kick so. you off. <laughs> 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 oh God. I still Listen, hold on to that. Listen, wait, are you I'm serious? Kyle Lowry wait, wait, are you serious? I'm dead serious. Wait, I'm no, you serious. weren't joking when you said that? No. <laughs> you, 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 still, you still think Kawhi Leonard is the greatest player right now? Yeah. How? How? It's playing. Bro. He's the, he's the best overall player in the league. How? He can shoot, play defense. He has great playmaking. He can get rebounds. Great playmaking. You, you, you could say that. What you're saying, you can say about, like, the third man on the bench on any team. Yeah, but talk about LeBron, and that man is in the conference. LeBron finals. James. What are you talking about? It's a fact. Like, what are you LeBron and James. This is so like LeBron. This man. You are oh, the Max Kidd Bayless. LeBron you are the Max Kidd Bayless. Don't say that. No, oh, say that. Come on. That's LeBron so How is this James. Man? LeBron on. James is the third best player in the in the in history, and LeBron James currently, to me right now. You think he's dirty? I'm surprised. I'm surprised you think he's that. No, of course he's that high. That's that's not debatable. The the only reason I really is number one. I want to hear where LeBron is. Number two, oh. and not and it's not it's not like a far battle. Like LeBron is like, I only see him a smidge above LeBron because Kawhi's a more elite defender. You think LeBron would put up twelve points like Kawhi did in the in the elimination game? I've seen LeBron James average seventeen for a series. So yes, man, it's Fair a, just a different player hmm. now, man. And that's and also. Also, that was in the finals too. That's not as bad as doing in the second. In round. the East, though, in the, he got through the East like a very weak East at Listen, the time. So, I'll say this: Come Kawhi on. and LeBron, th- this playoffs, have both had like one bad game, one co- like really really bad game. Yesterday was Kawhi, or two days ago was Kawhi's only really bad game, and honestly, that, that was one of the worst games I've ever seen in his career. That yeah, man but... looks like pre twenty thirteen Spurs Wait, with LeBron no moves. Now LeBron, game. he had one game where he scored like ten points. He was shooting poorly. I think yeah, it was the fact. last run. I it think was it was the game uh... when they lost to the Blazers. Yeah, or, the only game, the first game, the only mm-hmm. game they lost. And then and everybody was going in because they were like he underperformed. They won the game, but it's like the timing of both. Are much different. Like that was LeBron's one bad game, and then he's had a bunch of very efficient, good games. But I think Kawhi's had put up better numbers this playoffs. He has. Listen, 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 listen. But that choke is just that choke is unforgivable. But we can't forget about Pandemic P and the rest of the Clippers. That team was not good. Are we talking about the Clippers right now? We were supposed to be talking about the Celtics, but (laughs) Celtics. The Celtics, the, the Celtics and Raptors. All I'm gonna say <clears> is, <throat> Pascal Siakam and the rest of the Ra- uh, the rest of the Raptors, they need another player, another maybe not a Kawhi type, but they need they need someone else because on their own they'll get into the they'll get into the playoffs. They'll do very well, but you put them against a the Celtics or a very put together team, and I, I think if you put them against Miami, it would have been the same result. The Raptors are. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not. They just got ratted by by Celtics though. That was a. Tough series. That was a very tough series. But right. when it lucky. comes down, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, the Celtics have Jason Tatum, they have Jalen Brown, they have Kemba Walker, they have like even though we won't, they might not be considered necessary. These are all guys that are next up or right there. Like these are star star players. And when you look at Toronto, they got possibly Pascal Siakam, Kawhi Leonard may be the greatest Raptor in history, but he's not like a top – he's not considered a top-tier, top-20 player. He's not going to be the guy for you where you got Celtics guys that are coming up in that upper up echelon and can do it for you. And that's really what we saw. It was just more star power on two very well-put-together teams. The Raptors are a waste of the NBA's time. 
That's a crazy. That's statement. wild. No, no, no. Wait, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. That's that's crazy. Why you You're wild. You're wild. Why you say that? They just won the championship. Yeah. Okay. 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 And let's t- let's talk about that. They won the championship because Kawhi wanted force a trade from the Spurs, and the Spurs thought that they were violating his whole career, and it okay. didn't work out that way because everybody stepped on the the, the Raptors roster, mm-hmm. including the Spurs. Right? right. They leave, and what do you see? You see the exact same thing that <clears> happened <throat> when they had the Martin Rose and it was losing to the Bronnerby. The Raptors. This is who the Ra- This is who the Raptors really are. Like there is there is a direct correlation to the way that they lost this year and the way that they were losing for how many years. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, LeBron how, was how, how no, 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 no. How are they LeBron was sweeping them. Because LeBron, 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 LeBron swept them. They just LeBron got, just went to a Did he sweep them every case. year? Did he sweep them every year? LeBron told, man. Almost every year. Almost every year. LeBron told. It was a sweep and then a gentleman <laughs> sweep. But I'm was, saying but I'm saying the reason that they that they lost. They played the Nets before then. The the reason that they lost is because of a lack of of star power, they lost to the that's Nets. That's what I just said. With Joe that's Johnson. what I just said. But they, but see, that happens every single. That's the correlation right there. And they they're lucky. And you they said have. they're lucky too because they are. And they, and you're right. They're lucky because if they didn't, if OG didn't hit that lucky shot in um game, what was it, three or four? I think three. I think it was three. three. Game, game three. three, they would have lost in five <clears throat> because the, they won the next game two, and then lost game five. I agree with that. So like like what's free? They like, that's why I say they're a waste. It wasn't of based on a, a waste of time though. What makes them waste? Of time. What, what's gonna that's happen? Not OD. That's what's OD. gonna happen? What's that's gonna? OD. They don't even have a Giannis. Like, the the Milwaukee Bucks drafted Giannis Antetokounmpo. I used to the, think they the, were the, the Mavericks uh, East Coast version of the Clippers for a long time. Mm. I thought the Clippers. I thought the Clippers could because could their playoff. I thought their playoff like results were always the same. The kind of superstars that they had were always the same. Did they have just... any superstars though? The, the yeah, Clippers yeah, did. that's true. That's true. Clippers did. That's true. And that's why I say a waste of time. Like they could end up being like the Hawks were for like fifteen years. Mm-hmm. A waste of time. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, like, this guy. Like, like a waste of time. <laughs> well, okay. I don't think they're a waste of time, but I think the the problem with the Raptors is that all of their top talent is now on the decline. Whereas the other Eastern... Except, no, 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 not all their top talent. Pascal Siakam's on the incline. He's going I mean, up. I mean, he is. What, what is he going to do? What, are, what kind of improvements are we going to see to his game? I yeah. uh, I fully expect a shot to come, and which is something you we're not fully seeing. Fully expect I fully I, expect I, I agree with him. I, I fully expect a shot to come next. In Toronto, in that What system, kind of shot? I expect a mid-range, and I expect like a surgery... Like Chris Bosch? Yeah. That I can un- okay, I can agree with that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about spot up KD. Back. I'm talking about. I don't know about step back. I can see. I don't know about that. I can see I can Chris Bosh. I can see Chris Bosh and Lamarcus Aldridge. Catch and Aldridge. shoot. Catch and shoot. Yeah. Like, hold on, but this man's not even a big post shot. Yeah, he is. He's a power he's a man. He's a power Pascal. Forward. Pascal is a power forward in today's NBA. He's not really a power forward. Yeah, it's a fact. He's not really power forward. He's a power forward. He plays power forward. He plays power. He's a this man. This man brings the ball sometimes. He's a tweener. He does a spin move. He has no ball handling. He has no ball handling. Yeah, because he's a he's a. There are small forwards that don't have the best ball handling. Historically, Andre Roberson. Oh, God. that man has the best. Doesn't have the best anything. <laughs> best defense. 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 He has, <laughs> he has a layups mixtape. Leave that man oh, alone. Defense. He's the best two K player. Apparently, he, apparently, he got a good <laughs> three point shot now. Yeah, I yeah all right. I'm, I'm I'm paying attention to the Thunder next year. Just I want to see. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. see. But no, yeah, no. Okay. I I kind of see what Paul's saying a little bit with the waste of time, and it's going to be more. It's going to. It's going to be more particularly true when Kevin Durant comes back. The entire league is going to be paying attention when Kevin Durant comes back. Because the balance, if he's back back, like he has no impact from his injury, he's just back to how he was on those 2017 and 2018 Warriors teams, the power shift in the NBA is going to be very, very real and very, very present. We'll see. We shall see. But, but, uh, does anybody have anything else to say about the Celtics and Toronto? I mean, the Celtics... I mean, listen, man. People are sleeping on Jason Tatum. People are sleeping on Jalen Brown. That boy is nice. Who is sleeping on Jason Tatum now? I think. How nice? I think he's nice. Yeah, and if y'all sleeping on Jason Tatum still, then I think he's. No, I don't know what to say. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on. How I, nice think I think he's gonna be Kobe esque, like, some Kobe type player, man. I really see that happening. Kobe type. 
You mean like Tracy McGrady? Because Tracy McGrady was mm. a Kobe type of player. That's a fact. I, I That's mean, a fact. mean, it depends on his career. Okay. I want to see. I don't think this this project in Boston is going to work. Project, interesting. Really? I don't. I don't think that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are going to win the championship. I think I really. I disagree with you fully. I, I think. I, I think they are so good together. together. I really enjoyed watching. I think them they're. They're complimentary. I think they're a good team together. They're complimentary. But I just don't think. I think there's always going to be something that gets over the hump that, that they can't get over, what or at least it? it's going to be a little. I think it's yeah, going to be some not, team not, or another. That's not. I'm not saying it's their fault. fault. I yeah. didn't say it was their fault. I'm just. But saying you made it sound that, like it was. No, I'm just saying that they're going to be on the team and they're going to face these kind of obstacles, and it's not their fault necessarily. I just see. I don't see that project working out. I don't know unless they have if they have a serious jump in town. They need I could a, see, you know I could see a free agent going to Boston. I could see that's that. A, no, that that's happens. another yes, I could that's see that. I could see Giannis, that. Giannis to Boston. No, but oh, honestly, gosh. Oh. Giannis goes to Boston. <laughs> that's a different team. Oh, my gosh. Imagine, though. No, because what they I was going to say Gordon is, Hayward, man. Huh? Respect that, man. They already have Gordon Hayward. They need yeah, a real big forget man. that that man plays basketball. No, no, I, I don't forget. I, 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 I was watching the game earlier. I hike you for that. He was on a team. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I hike you for that. It was crazy. It was crazy. No, but that team that team needs a re- be nice. That team needs a reliable big man. That team needs a reliable big man. Robert got- Williams. So you're saying Daniel Tice is not nice? No, nah, forget Daniel, Daniel Tice. Tice. I think Daniel Robert Tice Williams. Gets it. I think Daniel <laughs> Tice gets <laughs> it. <laughs> Robert, come let me on. tell you something about let me tell you something about Robert. Daniel Williams. Tice gets way too <laughs> let me many. Let tell fouls. you something. Let me tell you something about that. <laughs> let me hear this. Two K. <laughs> you need to change Robert Williams. He's not that nice. Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he <laughs> is. In 2K, he's dunking on everybody you. like he's a dunk contest everybody. winner, man. Like so he's you tell me he can't do that? He's not Derrick Jones Jr. That's all why right. they can't win a game. Come on, man. Oh, that's man. crazy. Win that's a game crazy. with all that. That's crazy. But no, that's gonna be that's gonna be the difference. That's gonna be the difference. They need somebody. Person. They need and it's getting exposed right now because Bam Adebayo is violating. Oh no, wait, wait, wait! This man thought that Robert Williams was a generic player. That man doesn't even exist. Soul. I told him. I told him <laughs> that man is a real player. That man doesn't exist. He's a real player. Yeah, all right. That's I don't Robert see him doing Williams. Much on the court. That's He's hilarious. invisible on the court. Oh, and pause on the play, Paul. How long? What is our time right now? Oh. Yeah. Uh, because we're gonna, I want to hit the Clippers and I want to hit our our next uh, topic and then hit our predictions at the end. I mean, we got we got all night. That's true, but we don't got listeners for all night. No one's gonna listen to a three hour. It's eleven fifty four. What time did we start? Uh, like eleven. So we're fifty four minutes. <laughs> all right, then keep on. Man. So let's let's hit the Clippers. Let's hit the Clippers. And I know this is a lot that we wanted to talk about. We got to talk about the Heat of the Celtics. Too. That's gonna that's gonna be the next thing. That's gonna be the big yeah. thing. Yeah. But let's talk about the let's talk about the Clippers and Nuggets. The Nuggets are nice. The how Nuggets nice? are. I don't know how nice they are. I've been. It's mm. been hard to judge. I didn't see them getting this far. I didn't see them beating the Clippers at all. I think my prediction was Clippers in six when we said it, and I was very wrong. I didn't expect pandemic peace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and all exclusively. Like, he said that so so regularly, like that's his real name now. Pandemic <laughs> <laughs> team. I'm no. I'm sorry to say it. I was telling you all oh, about that, that man. man. I was. <laughs> yeah, I, was that's that's what what I, <laughs> I was telling you all about that mm. man on when oh. he was on Oklahoma City because he's you know in the playoffs in the playoffs I've seen him too many times just mm. let it slip away. Mm. And that's what happened. That's what happened against the Nuggets. And I know Kawhi had a very bad game. But Kawhi's back was broken because he had to go from the first round <laughs> and the second round and play like CJ all- McCollum. And that's Pandemic P, and pa- <laughs> this guy Pandemic P just watched him and said, man, that's really crazy. Lemon Pepper Lou, don't forget about that, man. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Lemon Pepper Lou, out nobody, here. His first bad game of the playoffs, and he had nobody to rely on. That's a and fact. It, that's so, that's it, so it, sad to me. The team, really traded more, the team traded more draft picks. <laughs> Then Paul George had field goal attempts. They got. They got. Did you come up Paul George? Did you, did you look that up? Did you look that up to I'm make just sure that's accurate? Set all? Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely sure it's accurate. That's the most four. crazy thing I've ever heard. They got to the line both of them one time. Shaka Genesis made a in game seven. Help them a little bit. That if Kawhi was doing that series of Shaka Genesis, they win that series. I'll tell you that. Mm. I'll tell you that. 
Paul, Paul George is the weirdest thing to me. I've never seen no one. Just... Listen, man. Paul George has no accountability. All right? And now I'm getting tight. Now I'm starting to get tight. That, that's what <laughs> 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 Go on, go on, go on, go on. This is what the people want. This is what the people want. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell, me, tell, me about this, tell me about this guy, Pandemic P. Tell me about him. Oh, tell me goodness. about him. Pneumonia P. Out here shooting four for 47 against the... Who do you... right, here's the problem with Paul George, man. Against, who the they go up against the first time? They want first round was against Mavs the, and they the almost Dallas lost. Mavericks. And they almost lost because this mm. man was shooting one for thirty seven. With with Paul George, man, he's just talented. Okay, he's not a leader. He's not he somebody. Cool. He's not, he and neither is Kawhi. That's he a fact. Cool. And the fact that both of them are not leaders. But the thing is, Kawhi is a leader by example. I think more mm-hmm. so than I don't, Paul I'm not George. Buying that anymore. Anymore. I'm not buying that. Anymore. And I don't. I would. Yeah, I would agree with you if you don't I, buy that. I, I, I buy that. Story. I buy that. I buy that 100%. But nope. I don't – I think it's different because in the Raptors, I think that the team – I think the team around him were more inspired by his performance and it elevated their game, whereas the Clippers, they were just a bunch of talented people who were put together like an Avengers squad or something like that. And they were all individually nice. But the problem with Paul George is that he has no leadership. Like, <clears throat> So this choke, all right, I've seen a choke of this nature before in 2015 with the same exact Clippers team, but with nobody from that, no players from that team are on the current Clippers team. Nobody, no players from that team are in the current Clippers organization. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, J.J. Reddick, Jamal Crosby. They choked losing to Houston. Harden didn't even play. They were up 3-1. Harden is on the bench. He was on, sitting on the floor, actually. Thinking the series is over, they lose that series because Josh Smith, Corey Brewer become sharpshooters and get their takeover out of nowhere, and, <laughs> <laughs> and they lose the series. And the thing, and the thing is, at least that series was a little bit better because Game Seven, Chris Paul and Blake, they had a come like they kept it competitive. Yes. In this, in this trope, in the fourth quarter, the team collectively was like 0 for 15, mm-hmm. and in the fourth quarter they gave up, and like. I was sitting there watching them. No, like I was scared to even watch the game, knowing that that was gonna. I knew that was gonna be the outcome. I knew it in my gut. I knew it in my heart of hearts, knowing that that was, they were gonna lose this game. I knew it from game six that if they lost game six, it's over. It was over. It's over because there's too much pressure. Like there's too much opportunity on the line. Yeah, there's too many opportunities to win. They had 16 point lead in game five. 14 points. Three games. In three games, three games. man. Three they have games. a 20 something point lead and they ain't losing. If you, it's, it's a mental thing at that point. Okay. The point I was alluding to was that in 2015, they had a choke of a similar nature. All right. The media was coming for them because they were supposed to be contenders and everything like that. But it wasn't, it wasn't as much like they wasn't saying they're going to win it all the same that they were saying this year. But they were still contenders. But I remember Chris Paul going to the podium after that, that loss, like that game seven loss. And he went up and he said, you know, we had a goal to win a title, to win a championship, and we failed. You know, we're pissed off about it. We're mad. We're upset. But we failed. It's a leader. Exactly. He went up there and he took, he took blame. He said, I could have played. I don't know if I could have played better, if I could have done something different. But he, he, he took it on. And then Blake went up there and he said something similar. You know, we were, we were expecting to get to the championship and we failed. We can't believe it, but we're going to come back strong. And so it's like, and you're still going to get – I mean, they still tried, though. And and, right. and it, it's still the principle of, like, as a fan looking at that, <coughs> you know, you you see your players responding that way. You're still going to get all the slander. You're still going to get all the memes. You're still going to get all the, the, the backlash from sports media. Of course it's going to come. But as a fan – you look at that and you can at least be like, well, damn, this was an epic choke of epic proportions, but the players at least are going to come back strong. Coming back like, next year. Yeah, they're going to come back mm-hmm. next season with some fire. Like, mm-hmm. they're tight about it. They're pissed, you know, that they had this opportunity and lost it. This guy, Paul George, gets on the podium <laughs> and says, internally, this was never a championship oh, or man. A championship year for us. It was never championship because we didn't have enough time to get two months ago, he said, 
we intend on winning it all. We we expect to go out there and, oh, and try to win it all. He said it two months ago but in that's an the, interview. But that's the man that said that uh, he wasn't a Lakers fan or something before he got to the Clippers. And then, <laughs> like, <what's> that? <laughs> like, that's the same guy, right? Why is he doing like, this? Why is he doing it's this? It's like, I have no... Respect I have no him? faith. I have no faith in Yo. Paul George. <laughs> That's Let's not forget last year. Anything I I expect him mm. to get great. Stats. That's a bad <laughs> shot. I expect bad him shot. bad shot, man. I expect him to make shots. I expect him to get his numbers. I expect mm. him to win some games and lose some games. But Paul George is not taking any team anywhere. Anywhere. This was his best opportunity. The Warriors are not in the playoff picture. The Mavs possibly could have won that series if Porzingis didn't get injured and Luka didn't have his injury. And Clippers fans don't want to talk about that, but it's facts. The Dallas Mavericks could have won that series. Yep. That's a fact. Because yes, Paul George was being sus. I thought they were at, at one point. Yeah, that's really and true. And honestly, if they, if they won that series, that would have been much better than this. BS. Now... That would have been better? Losing to a 21-year-old kid? That would have been better? Yes. I will tell you something right now, Fast Breaks. Mm. Watching the Clippers lose was the worst sports moment of my entire life. Wow. It was the most depressing moment I have ever had as a sports fan. <laughs> and nothing ever will top it. And it makes me never want to watch basketball ever again. But he will. And he'll be back next week. I am not. What do you mean you're not I watching? did not watch today. I went to sleep. Wait, no, not, no, no, wait, 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 I did not wait. watch the game today. And I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I can't. I'm not buying it. This is the problem. I've invested 10 years into this this hobby, into the sport of basketball. I this love life, this game. This life of ours. All right. I've A played basketball. Live. I've played basketball my entire life. But watching it professionally, watching the NBA, invested 10 years into this Clippers team. That's why Paul. That's why. He, that's why he doesn't. That's why he doesn't. That's why he's acting like this. It's only been ten years. He has no disappointment yet. Listen, he doesn't. Man, know. Let him. Let him. Let him. I'm not addressing him. Hold on. No. 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 There were expectations. Like, okay, I've seen the highs and lows of that Clippers team. I've seen the team change players. I've seen Doc Rivers fail, and I've seen him succeed. I've seen him say great things and say terrible things. State I've of seen blow a bunch of three and one leads in three different decades with three different teams. Oh, Doc Rivers. Right? <laughs> it's not three. Oh, wait. Three different decades. Wow. Man. <laughs> three different decades. That's crazy. Wow. That's really bad. That's really I've bad. Stayed up till two and three in the morning, season after season, and it's like insanity expecting the same thing year after year. Right now. I don't. I don't think that it compares to the grief of never seeing a team compete for like a playoff spot or whatever. But to be so close to the goal and then just fail, like it's they people people talk about a Clippers curse. That thing is real. That curse is real. <laughs> Donald Sterling. I don't know what you've done. <laughs> I don't know what you've done. <laughs> I don't Donald know what Sterling. you've done. Donald, Donald Sterling. Sterling. Oh, Donald Lord. Sterling. No, 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 no. Donald Sterling. I address this to you. <laughs> Release oh, the Clippers from your curse, man. <laughs> please. Please, man. Please, man. This is ridiculous. The team doesn't Donald deserve this. Sterling. And the Clippers Yo. fan get the brunt of this. The Clippers fan get the brunt of this, right? Oh, because man. I'm not going to sit here and act like all year, the media wasn't like the Clippers going to win it all. I'm not going to act like Patrick Everybody. Beverly wasn't talking out the side of his neck going crazy. Crazy. Going, running up, being just getting, getting right. running up and down the court, just getting his steps in. But as a not fan, doing anything. what are you oh, supposed to do? <laughs> there <laughs> ain't nobody. Listen, man, as a fan, what are you supposed to do? You just were going along for the ride. The you going along for the ride. And, and he wants to talk all this hot stuff. I look at Clippers fans' discussion all year. They say, I wish Patrick Beverly would stop. I wish he would stop. <laughs> I wish he would stop. But at the same time, it's like, all right, he has to do He's the dog of the team. The dog it, of the team. And now, <laughs> and now it's all coming back. 
coming oh back to bite you. Oh my god! And, and Clippers fans have to pay the price, and we haven't done anything <laughs> except watch the freaking team. <laughs> I'm done with this game, man. I'm no, done with this no, franchise. I'm, not, I'm, I'm done with this organization. I'm done. I'm right. done. The Clippers, the Los Angeles Clippers, will never win a championship. You heard it, <laughs> me. You heard me say it. I'm not. I'm not watching another game. I'm not getting disappointed again. Oh man, that's crazy. That was the worst choke I've ever seen. I agree. I, agree. I in NBA agree. history. Yeah, that's that was well. the worst in sports history. There was a uh, the 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 Yankees lost to the Red Sox when they were up three zero. But I, I I didn't watch that. My dad watched that. I didn't watch. No. That. And this, I've watched both. I saw the- <laughs> Can you imagine? Think about my that. Heart, my heart, my heart goes in the same you, chair in the same room that I'm broadcasting heart, to you. My I've heart goes stacked- out to my heart goes out to you in Clippers Nation. All I want to say no. is I'll give you my pitch one more time. It's time to go be a free agent, my guy. I'm watching soccer in this, in this league <laughs> of player of I'm player go watch transparency. Liverpool. In this Liverpool. league, so you're a Lakers fan, LeBron. I'm a Liverpool fan now. Oh, you're a Lakers fan. You're a Lakers fan. No, LeBron. No, no, no. LeBron. LeBron. Forget the Lakers. Forget oh, LeBron. LeBron. Owns forget, Liverpool. Forget, forget the basketball. Forget the basketball. No, it's still linked to basketball. You're not running. The, you're not gonna leave the game, man. I don't, you're not I don't care about the game anymore. Never. You're not doing this is the problem. This, this is, is fresh. This is emotion. Never. You know what? You know what he's gonna do? A free agent. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna hit up Xavier Quarterman. And Pharaoh Sutton Jackson, and he's gonna kill yeah, him. Yeah, right. Dude, he's got my name's on the No, 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 We'll give him a special shout out in the. We'll give him a special <laughs> shout out. Nah, we'll I'm give him a special. Shout out. I don't want to shout out. I'm not well, shouting out nobody. Why are you gassing them up? You like already that? shouted them out. Gassing their Lakers fandom up like that. They don't need to be gassed about their. <laughs> Josh is gonna go have a conversation with them and come back and change. Man, he's gonna <laughs> say Listen, man. Lakers no, Nation no. for life. I hate Lakers fans. <laughs> Let it be known. Yeah, Lakers, Lakers fans are diabolical, despicable scum. Uh, Lakers fans are cloud chasers. Okay, Lakers fans only chase success, except Basically. the ones that watch fast breaks. They, they talk about their sixteen nah, championships, and they and half of them, <laughs> half of them weren't Lakers they weren't alive. Annoying. They weren't alive for half of them, but they talk about it as if they were in the stands. Watch me <laughs> tight. Magic Johnson and James Worthy. Come on, man! You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> you just play with the all-time Lakers team on two K. Just shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth. Just shut, it. Just shut your mouth. I know who you really are. <laughs> it's our best episode. <laughs> I keep. I'm just thinking it. Man said, "Shut your mouth." I got nothing more to say to you. What are you saying, man? Lakers friends. <laughs> it just come, look, man. Listen, all right. Let me say, let me say something to you, no man. When I chose um, to be a Clippers fan, this is the last okay, thing I say. This okay, okay. Last thing I'll say. I'm I going promise. right there too. When I chose to be a Clippers mm. fan, I didn't choose for any. I'm actually, I'm actually crying. I'm sorry. This is hilarious. I just, to me. I was, I reviewed every. I was a free agent, just how, as how you said. I just watched basketball, mm. and something drew me back to the Clippers. I saw them. What could have possibly been that? You said but anyway. Griffin. It was Blake Griffin. I thought you said mm. <laughs> <laughs> something possible. It was Blake Griffin thirty two. Mm. His it was just craziness to me. And it you know, and another part of it was that So are you, I wait, saw, are you gonna be a Detroit Pistons fan now? No. There's no there's nothing nice in jumping to another team. Like I don't know anything about Detroit, man. I don't know. I don't know anything about their team history. What do you know? What do you know about LA? What do you know about the LA? Right, it's not about. Right, it's not about, about, the, it's not about LA history. Well, he asked me a question. I didn't get to finish my point. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun with this. I'll let you continue. What I was this saying is was, serious business. <laughs> what I was saying was, <laughs> as this man laughs, anyway. one of their team, they were one of the few teams that has never like had a finals appearance. They never had a Western Conference finals appearance, and so I felt like. I wanted to be a fan of a team that had never accomplished anything. So then when they get there, I will see the whole process of them getting there. Like I'll never be able I'll never be like claiming something I didn't see, you know? And so that was what kind of drew those two things mainly drew me to the team. And they got all the talent and they had their opportunities. They choked time and time and time again. Now, the reason this choke is the worst is because 
this is the best team that was ever put together. And it wasn't like the they did the anything in the history of the franchise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't like they did and, – and all other variables are also, you know, good. Like the Porzingis was injured, and that helped them out. The Warriors aren't even in oh, playoff man. contention right now. Mm-hmm. And they could come back next year and be – With Giannis and, be, and just be nice. You know, the Lakers were – Dealing with completely different teams. Imagine if they play them in the first round, or something, <clears throat> which I kind of really prefer and get it out the way. And then Kawhi and Paul George just came, and it wasn't like, and it wasn't like they were drafted. They just came. They just, they just happened here one day. Like last year, the Clippers took the Warriors to seven games, and it was just from playing hard fought basketball. It was just Lou, Trez, and Pat Bev. They, like they were take the Warriors to some of it. Wow. Yeah, six, six games, six games. Six games, six, six games. Sorry, oh, yeah, my fault. Oh, they took oh, six games. Okay. But but still, that they shouldn't have even it, it was just like hard fought basketball. You know, like it was just good basketball. And I thought they were just gonna build from that. But then everything is traded away for Kawhi and Paul George, so it's championship and bust. It's just like this is the best. Paul George was a free agent, wasn't he? No. No, they traded. Oh, right, right, right. They traded. Right, right. I'm sorry. They're Not Paul George. I'm sorry. Kawhi. Kawhi. Kawhi yeah, was a Kawhi, free agent. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kawhi. But it's just like to <clears> see <throat> for that to happen. And now, you know, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard's contracts are up in a year. And this is catastrophic in like sports history. And Paul George is already sensitive. Sensitive. That's a very nice word. That's a, that, I mean, hey, hey, the man does have like. Like like depression issues. So all right, and we're not gonna, you know, we're not making I'm, a joke about that. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that's I'm not, not funny. But when I say sen- when I say when I say sensitive, I'm not saying in a negative tone. I'm just saying he like they're like he LeBron. Yeah, he he reacts to these kind of things the man in lives a different in his back, way. I understand than LeBron does. You know, who was also like LeBron was swept by the Spurs in the finals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for some people that's what that by the Warriors too that, that's a lot it's a fact you know but he just up by the oh wait yes he was oh, yes he was he went 2019 I mean 18 2018 yeah 2018. swept by the Warriors completely yeah. swept mm-hmm. after sweeping the entire East <laughs> that's that's so crazy to me <laughs> alright are, are you done yeah. so it's just it's just that's that's my final point. It's that this is the lowest point as a Clippers fan, as a basketball fan that I've ever felt. And it's like I invested so much time to, for this. And, right. I, and I shouldn't have been hyped. As a Clippers fan, you know not to, you expect not the to worst. win. You yeah, expect the worst. And then Kawhi just convinced us. Like, even the beginning of this year when we got Kawhi, I was like, man, they're probably not going to win. And then over the season, he just convinced me. Yes, he was nice. I was a fool, man. A they fool. were the second in the West, yeah, man. Clean. You're not even wrong for that. You're not even wrong for that. It's just right. Paul George is really the one who tricked me. <laughs> yeah, Put the wool that. over my eyes. That man. Yeah, yeah, that man. Yeah. That man sold you a bill of goods. That that wasn't all right. He's just all like right. he's like an average rapper. He's. <laughs> <laughs> in what way? He's a scammer. He's talented. He's talented. He's like. He's not uh, deep. Got you. All right, you, you said what you guys said. I want to think of a rapper who he is. Man, he's like some like party next door type or something, man. <laughs> but not like Nomad though. Not like Nomad. That's a fact. Uh-oh. Nomad is up and coming, like Luca. Yes. Max. Yes. Peace oh and blessings. Oh my god! Man, can't record a podcast. <laughs> Peace and blessings, man. This is what happens. They're gonna hear this. this <laughs> This is what happens when you record in a in a, in a, oh, in a, in a pandemic pandemic at Donald Trump. <laughs> man, what? <laughs> All right, man, say your piece, man. Listen, I don't know what they're let me, talking. Let me let me say this right. I'm gonna be completely real with you. I'm tr- I'm gonna try to be sensitive, but I'm gonna be completely real with you. He's gonna try to be sensitive, not like Paul George. I'm not kind of sensitive. I'm a, listen. That man is going honestly. That man has like some depression issues sometimes. So I'm not calling that man sensitive. No, um, all right. He's not going to hear this. 
Yeah, but the people will. Chill, man. You don't know. He might hear it. You don't know. That's a fact. And Paul That's George, it's Paul about George. right and wrong. It's not even about if people are going to hear it. But anyway. Paul George, if you hear this, I'm, I'm, I, I hope your depression gets better. I honestly mean that, but you got to be a better basketball player. Paul, continue. In the, in the crunch time. But listen. See, the <clears> problem, <throat> and this might sound harsh, but the problem is that you decided to be a Clippers fan. Everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everything you said, look, this comes from a Knicks fan. Everything you said, right, about why you chose the, the Clippers, you could have used that logic and chose a different team. But you decided to choose the second team to the Lakers in the another coast. As Knicks fans, we experience failures, disappointments, it's second nature, all actually. We we go through the same things that you we almost never right expect now. to win. How we actually never expect to win. However, how what do any of the Clippers however, failures have to do with the Lakers? However, however, all of them. however, they however, beat them for ho- the entire however, decade. However, however, <laughs> however, <laughs> however, the Knicks is our team, and when I say our, I mean home team. We are from New York. The Knicks, I'm a, I am a Knicks fan because not just because I'm from New York. What about the Nets? Forget the Nets. They just got here. Listen, they're in Brooklyn. They're in Brooklyn. You're... I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be slightly serious, but they just got here. They got here when I was almost a grown man. A few years from being a grown man, seventeen. Few years <laughs> time, I'm a grown man after that. Like no, <laughs> listen. But listen, they bring them back. <laughs> listen. Oh, God, <clears throat> the. <laughs> Nah, they should have went though. Nah, nah, hey, 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 man, hey, that's a Bring fact. Back. That is a fact. Dude, anyway. James, I want some words with you, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's, it's a comp. Wait, Alan, Alan, are wait, you wait, still wait, 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 don't, don't diverge the whole time. Please, keep <laughs> I'm going sorry, I'm sorry. Keep going, keep going. Listen, Alan, I'm a Knicks fan because... I'm a Knicks fan because... Not just because they're from New York, but because... What else reason is there? It's like, can I finish... Because it's in, it's almost. He's in going my, to tell you. Yeah, like, come on. Like, you don't have to ask. Like, <laughs> it's because it's like it's kind of like in my heritage to an extent. Because I, I grew up, I grew up hearing about Charles Oakley and Patrick Ewing missing the layup and John Starks and all of that. So although we experience the failures that we've that we've encountered as Knicks fans, it's still there's still. A hometown history there, and I'm not saying you have to be a fan of a New York team or the Knicks, but I'm saying ten years ago, number one, the Knicks were better ten years ago, and there were other teams that were on the come up at that time too. But you chose the Clippers. Think about mm-hmm. that. It is because you chose the Clippers why you're feeling like you should turn away from basketball. Now let me say this to encourage you. Number one, the culture that they had. Last year, the Clippers, they could still bring that back because the core of that culture, the, the people that really held that culture together are there and they're not like, like they're, they're not sought after free agents. So if Kawhi and Paul George leave or whatever, or they break up like what Kendrick Perkins heard from an inside source or whatever. Uh-huh. What do you hear? That they're breaking up, it's over? That's what he heard. That's what he said he heard on national television. He said that, so I don't know. But if <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> who did he hear that from? I don't know. An inside source. He said himself. Inside source. It was a very inside source. He was sitting was in the locker room. Voice. He He's sitting it. outside the locker room at the door. Outside the door. Hey, they say the <laughs> they say they even the Celtics know? arguing. So I don't know. You know, it's but, Doc Rivers. Well, that's a good point. He's breaking up with the team. Is he? No, I thought. No, hopefully. Not. No, they said he's no, they signed him. Be him said. They signed him for an extension. Let's see. <laughs> anyway. They saw his performance and they said, You're not the problem. Listen, all I'm going to say is this, his right? performance. Listen, all I'm going to say is the culture is still, the, it's still there. <laughs> it's just covered by the cult that Kawhi and Paul George brought. And they could still win. They can still win. So I wouldn't be discouraged. And if you play ball and you enjoy ball, you're not turning away from basketball. That's not gonna happen. That's a fact. No, no, no. It's not gonna this happen. Is, that's that's not facts. Because that is facts. I loved <laughs> I loved football. I even played football. So you go back away, to football. And I turned away from football. And I just might. I yeah, was say I no, I said I would go to soccer because I've never taken time to study the game. But you soccer. don't play soccer, so it's not I the don't. same. How do you know? 
How do I know what? <laughs> how do I know what? That man lives in Long Island. How do you know? How do I? How do you know it's not the same? Because I know. How do you know? How I tried soccer at one point, it didn't work out. It's not the same. So I can't watch it because I never played. You can try, you can watch it. You're just not going to get attached to it the way you, you have been he invested. Makes a good point. He's you've been invested point. in basketball for ten years. You're an adult okay. though. You're, you're an adult okay. who has never played soccer. Making a good point. You've never mm-hmm. watched soccer in the last twenty five years of breathing air. And I've this watched is soccer in my life. Okay, but you haven't like consistently watched it, right? I just don't right. watch a team. I mean, I've watched. But have you consistently? Yeah. Yes or no? Have you consistently Olympia watched soccer? I've watched Arsenal. Have you over consistently? The have you consistently watched soccer on a year to year basis? Yes, consistently. I hate you, but it's... I mean, like you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I don't watch it. A, I don't watch a team. A, okay, so but this I, isn't I, the same thing. This I could say I watch enough. Thing. But like. Years, but if somebody never got into any sport, if they never watched a sport, you're saying they can never get into it in their no. You have to watch it consistently. You have to watch it consistently. You have to invest in the sport. You're not gonna. You're too old now to invest in soccer. That's wild. So I can't watch UFC tomorrow. I can't get into that. You can, but you're not going to. What? That's wild. You're You're saying people just can't start new hobbies. They can't just. No, no, they they can. (laughs) They can. Now you're old. You're too old. You're you're too old. To I'm, have a, I, your attention span is just not there. You listen. You have life happening. All right. You're all. We're all moving up in life. At this point in the game, it's not your hobbies like watching sports. You're not. You don't have the time to. You don't have the devotion and the consistency it takes to get into a new sport. Really get Why into not? a new sport. I watch basketball. Okay, but you started that ten years ago when you were fifteen and had way more time and way more to give. But all the time that I watch basketball, you watch soccer now. You're, I'll, listen, you come back to me in a year with this. I want to see how far you get. All right, say this. But what I was going to say about well, now I don't, I don't remember what Paul's last point was. You, oh, okay, no, 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 I remember, I remember. All right, I remember. All right. So what I was going to say is that I think I'm not going to complain about like the the second rate nature and like the little brother franchise comments and stuff like that. I mean, I think it's unnecessary, but I understand why it happens. You know. And I think it would be even worse if I lived in Los Angeles. You know, I'm reading people who are Clippers fans and they have merchandise and they have like face masks and stuff like that. And they're walking around the streets right now. People are rolling down their windows of their cars to violate them. So (laughs) I don't think, (laughs) like, I don't, (laughs) I can't imagine. Like, I don't think there's anything that would stop that from happening. But like, there's something sinister. Like about how Lakers fans, even when they weren't accomplished anything, they, I don't know if they felt pressure or they felt like that it was an unwelcome stranger in their city, something like that. But they just, they come for Copas fans for no reason whatsoever. Like, I've just noticed that. And it comes with the territory, but it is what it is. But what I was going to say in regards to your point of you saying I chose the team, I chose the team the same way I think anyone would choose any basketball team. And I don't personally feel that living in a specific place should influence your decision. I can understand how it could influence in terms of you seeing one team play more often because you get that local channel, you know, but like if I lived in Montana, I don't even, I wouldn't even have a basketball team. (laughs) <laughs> if I if I went by that logic of like choosing my hometown team, I would have to do the same thing that I did right. It'd be a thunder. I was It'd be a thunder. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe thunder up, thunder up. I mean, would they be playing on local TV in Montana? I don't know. Local, <laughs> local I really don't broadcast. know because they don't have they don't have a team, so I don't know. They, no, they, they, they get they get something. Like I remember some places used to get like. Chicago, and it wasn't like right, like not the city of Chicago. Right, so, right. So they or, might. Be Everywhere right. has like TV deals. So, like, yeah, that's a fact. Like, 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 like me, for example. So if like me, for example, example, one, one OKC broadcast, they said that team is whack. We want the the close. We want the other bordering team. That's not how this works. The, but su- Alan, the Super Sonics. <laughs> Hold on. We want the Super Sonics, bro. Hold on. Alan was about to make no, a point, okay. and then we're going to talk about this comment. No, I was, gonna, yeah, I was just going to say about, about the teams. Like, I was going to say, like, even though I was, I'm in Jersey, um, I got the, the Nets and the Nets local channel. So mm. it was like regional deals, is what I was going to say. All right. So so here's where we're going to go next. We're going to talk about this conference, this this round right now, the 
Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals, and we're going to roll it into our predictions for the NBA Finals in general. Um, and all that to say, I'm very impressed by the Miami team. I really am. They are I'm winning not. these hard-fought games. I am. I'm very impressed by them. I didn't expect them to go this far. So every time I they did. win, I'm just more impressed. You did not. You, you didn't know what's call so them. frustrating about this? I said Miami they were going to the finals before. Seeing the, before the seeing this Miami team, and and this is the last point I'll make about the Clippers is mm. the the Heat. They have some real leadership going on, <laughs> and the Clippers have zero. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have. Like, there's something to be said about a person who hypes, who only, who who uplifts the team, and who who takes the blame for their failures. Who takes, you know, who who can be cocky at times. I mean, they interviewed LeBron after they finished out that series, and he said, "I'm a winner. Winning is what I do." <laughs> That's what. <he> said. <laughs> Your and worst people, career, your some, world. Some, listen, man. Some people say that's pretentious, man. You have he's to speak three, affirmations. He's got three rings, four MVPs. He's about to have a fifth MVP. If I'm a teammate, goes right. If I'm a teammate on LeBron's team, and I'm sitting in the locker room, and I'm looking on my phone, and I get a Bleacher Report notification saying <clears throat> LeBron is outside on the court saying, "I am a winner." <laughs> You're hype. Oh. You're hype. <laughs> oh, you're hype. Yo, we gotta do some big things, man. <laughs> And that's the thing. That's about accountability. Because Kawhi goes out there, he says, "I don't know what you're talking about. We played basketball." That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the ball in the hoop, man. Scratching his cornrows. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like. Ball, say, I'm not gonna like. <laughs> say, cause look, He's cause just scratching George, his cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> when Paul George was. This when Paul George was. Kawhi, when Paul George, Kawhi, when Paul George, that's the when only. Paul that's when you know he's upset when he scratches his cornrows. It's <laughs> the only way he shows it. When That's Paul what George, I had to learn. wait a excited. second, wait a second, wait a second. When Paul George was, why do I have to decide for this man? He's a human being. When Paul George was shooting poorly, a reporter was like, "Can y'all win this with uh, Paul George shooting what? that badly?" Yeah. And he said, "Yeah, we got his back. We got him." And I really messed with that. That was a really good answer. He didn't say know. we got his back. I thought he just said yeah. No, he no, said, he said we got listen, his back. He said oh, we got his back. If you listen to the whole joke, I started laughing immediately because I just heard yeah, and I thought he was gonna walk away. And, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and it's about, like, what do you mean? We'll but no, I mess with that answer. I mess, I mess with that answer. And so I, I think he needs to show more of that. You're, what you're saying about LeBron is 100% right. That man is a true leader. I don't care how many finals loss he has. He's still going to be Butler like that. does the same thing. It's like you do it on and off the court. Mm-hmm. I mean, he said, he said something about, you know, I have some hardworking guys on this team. He said, I got some I dogs on this team. I, I got some dogs them, on this can't team. can't let them down. Well, listen, man. Patrick Beverly said that too, so it's not a, a, just what you say. <laughs> but no one's listening. To, that's the difference. Beverly, that's the thing is, that man's wild. That's, 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 that's the point, though. That's the point. That's Leadership. The you can have false prophets. Oh, man. No one's and listening. That's, to that's, that's, that's the problem. The problem with oh, Patrick Beverly. Hold on. Well, the problem wait, with wait, the Clippers. Wait, 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 wait. All right, go ahead. <laughs> the problem with the Clippers, though, is that since Paul George doesn't take any leadership or accountability. He just goes out and plays basketball. Plays basketball. Yeah, I think I think if Paul George, if he didn't have to go to the post-game interviews, he would just go back to the hotel room. He wouldn't even... A lot, of them, a lot of them would, though. That's a fact. <laughs> a lot of them but Paul George specifically. He's just... Uh, Paul George, <laughs> <about. Paul> George <laughs> is making, about. like, quite like the resume on his, post, on his post-game interviews. Man. Getting me tight. He's just making chatting. quite the, the, the book that he Just chatting. And then and Kawhi doesn't say anything. So, because neither of them lit, lit <laughs> cool, I just looking at y'all, <laughs> just processing data in front of you. And so, Patrick Beverly is a loudmouth, and he became the leader. He became the the the, oh, the full point Green. of the. Yes, he's just a. Dream that's why Green. people, you know, like I I can't pretend I didn't see that, but all that hate that the Coopers are getting, it's from Patrick Beverly, and the media. Hyping them up. Clippers fans didn't do nothing. They didn't even think they were going to win. Montrez and them supported it, though. That's a fact. Supported it. Montrez and them, they supported it. That's a fact. Kawhi I mean, like, I had know. nothing to do with that. He's like, man, I'm just he's here nicer to than basketball. Them. He's nicer than all of them, though. I That's feel like he's the best he player in the world. To. He's I feel the like best he... player in the world. He's the best player in the world. So, yeah. But it's like certain teams, you know, like, I see 
I saw Jamal Murray. He's the Jokic. best player. Oh God! You said the best yeah. They were dapping each other up after the game. You see, you. I think about certain teams, and I think about how their players interact after the game is over. Like, do you think Westbrook and Harden are cool? No. Oh, are they cool? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cool. cool. They're but cool. I mean, like, they say all the time, they like childhood, saying, like, like childhood friends. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so do you so? Think about other dynamic duos. Do you think Kawhi and Paul George are cool? No. I don't see them being they friends are. at all. No, they are. I think but do you think Davis them hanging out and LeBron are cooler. Doing anything. Yes. I think they are cooler. I, think, I, think, not, I don't even think they're cool like that, but I think they're cool. I think no, they're no, cloud I, chasers. I, I, no, I think they're cloud chasers, but I, like, I feel I like they have Anthony the camera Davis, on more often. I think Anthony Davis pulls mm. up to LeBron's house and asks for advice. Like I, I see him like that. I think they are cool. I think Asking I think for advice. Kawhi, Kawhi for advice. Or co- about what? Their co-workers. About Cause what? I, cause remember, remember <laughs> what, what, what's going on? Because remember, years ago, and, and that, that's still being – sometimes I hear that come out a little bit, that Anthony Davis is going to be the blueprint of the league, and I always hear that come out. So He's <laughs> still so advice on his game. Oh, don't get Allen started on that bad. <laughs> <laughs> So you said, so wait, you, know, tight. you said, okay, you said, Alice, you said, Anthony Davis drives over to LeBron James to ask for up. advice. He pulls on up his on game. Taco Tuesday and asks for advice. <laughs> hey, 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 he's <laughs> only on Taco Yo, Tuesday. There's no evidence of that. How should I post you <laughs> more effectively? <laughs> <laughs> how should I get in the post? How should I avoid the post more? He tells him, if you want a consistent him. jumper, just look at your right hand and then just let that fly. Let it go. Man. Let your that troubles away, young blood. Let your, look at it. But it's like certain oh, teams, dude. they have that chemistry on and off the court. Like the, the Warriors, you could tell that they the Warriors, were they loved each other. other. They loved each other. I really believe that. I really mm-hmm. believe that. And I think they even loved KD. Yeah, I do. I think KD broke Steph's heart, if I'm being honest. Man, what? I'm not serious. Are you trying to demasculate that, man? No, I'm not. I'm not. Emasculate? Emasculate. Yes, and no, a- I'm not. Emasculate? A- emasculate with a word, with an E. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> demasculate. No, emasculate. Oh. oh, all right. Well, either way, why did you say he broke his heart? Because, like I said, he really, like, Steph was really like, yo, I let my shine go down for you to look good. And this is how you do me? That's crazy. I mean, Kawhi's not a leader. <laughs> Kawhi's not a leader. You can't not talk like that. See, people he doesn't act talk like, about nothing. People act like, people <laughs> act like, like, okay. Good or bad. There's a fine line. That's the problem. There's a fine line. We got to talk about... I can't uh, support that as a fan. It doesn't yeah. give me hype or nothing. <clears throat> what am I supporting? What am I... What but more like? than you, the team... The, the yeah, team. that's a fact. And like, the team doesn't respond to it either. Listen, we, I know we got to talk about the conference finals, but let me Pressure. See. Shooting shots off the side of the backboard. That's Paul George for you. Pandemic P. Come on now. Well, listen. Listen, man. Listen, man. I watched Blake Griffin do that. What's hey, going on? Why? Yes, against the Warriors, man. Oh, I do you know, bench that. Last, I the bench that. laughed at him. What's the bench going laughed on? at him. That, that was a regular season. That was a regular season. Game. Why do these that was a regular season game. Clippers, man. But the bench was a laughing at him, man. I'm just, I'm tired of this. <laughs> Clippers curse. <laughs> they don't deserve this. That backboard I, was real. I feel like being a Suns fan. Do it, then. That's what you're I'm trying really to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Do it. You think you're going to be upset? Why did you choose the Clippers? You think you're upset right now? Why you think you're going to be upset Clippers. right now? You think you're going to be upset right now? Watch you become a Phoenix. But that's I don't the care. Are, if, the on, sun, if the sun, if the sun, if the Suns aren't like, they're not going to take any man, from might, anybody. Man, I just want to be a low key fan. You might no, 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 I don't. Be a fan. I will never be a Knicks fan. I'm not telling. I'm not telling. As long as James Dolan is is in charge of that franchise, I'm not going there. That's a fact. Listen, all I'm saying is this, man. I'd be a Nets fan. Be a Nets fan. I'm a Nets fan. Long Island. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? All right. Wait a Thanks for listening to Fast Rick. <laughs> Presented by the Soapbox. Cool. Oh, oh, man. Man. No, no. Cut it off here. Cut I'm it off here. Cabin, I'm I'm You're cabin, wrong. I'm this I'm man capping. said he's a Nets fan. I'm capping. I'm capping. I'm capping. How many teams do you support? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the man's a moderator, a narrator. Thunder, <laughs> Rockets, Nets, Knicks, and a capper. You have teams in all kinds of divisions, man. <laughs> a professional capper. Oh my gosh. But no, let me say this. There's a That's fine crazy. line. There's a fine line. And I, we got to talk about the conference finals before we, we go. But Let's talk about it right fine, now. There's, we started and then Josh brought it back to the Clippers. I'm sorry. You can go. <laughs> this moderator, man. Listen, there's a I'm just letting you Come moderators on, have to let you know. <laughs> I have to let you know the organization. Listen, here. The there's a fine, there's a fine line between mm. 
being yourself and improvement on why are you wearing a white shirt on a white background i'm sorry don't watch that. that don't watch that there's a fine <laughs> line there's a fine line talking to us. that seriously Kawhi it's easy, it's easy. Leonard, Kawhi Leonard <clears throat> has been this way ever since he got into the league but look with great power comes great responsibility spider-man said that it's, that's one of the what? greatest quotes ever. Uncle Ben said that, man. Uncle Ben said that. In you're right. Oh, man. Uncle Ben said it. You're right. You're right. Listen, you're right. And not the not the one with the rice. Listen. <laughs> Yo, that's a fact. Yo, play that sound. Play that. Play that buzzer, man. That's a fact right there. Hold that's on. Hold on. That's a fact. All right. Hey. <laughs> listen. Listen. Use a picture of Uncle Ben in the trailer. Like Uncle Ben with the rice. All right. One. Not not from Spider Man. Don't do that. All right. But listen. There's a fine line with great power comes great responsibility. He's been like this ever since he got into the league, but he went to the Spurs. When you're a leader, there's like I understand being a leader on the court and leading by example, but sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone when it comes to being a leader. You gotta you gotta do things that isn't really in you at the moment, but you gotta step outside of the comfort zone, right? That's, That's LeBron what stay shooting. Kawhi needed. That's what Kawhi. <laughs> honestly, honestly, That's that, right. is That's why, that is why uh, Kawhi started shooting. Way. And he was, he was, but he's, he's right. <laughs> no, no, I That's wasn't even thinking at him. That's really what it is. That's right. really right. what That's it is. That's why they were successful with the Raptors because Kyle Lowry is a great leader. He's a leader. He man. They I think play. Serge is a leader people, too. I think Serge is a leader. Kawhi's playoff run was crazy, and I I think it was crazy. He was having some great performances. But after that Sixers game, it's not like he was dominating like crazy. It was a it was a much more balanced team game, I think, after that point. Van it was Vliet just those first two series. Yeah, it, Van Vliet was going off. And Kawhi was actually yeah. getting saved in some games from the team playing for each other. Like Lowry yes. and Siakam, they had that connection. Each other. Each other. Yes. And he Uncle was just nice. He was able to be nice. That's yep. why, like, he he had this one cold game on the Clippers. Nobody could save him. Because mm-hmm. Lou and Tress tried it. They were playing for each other at some point. But they're not enough as those two. Like, Paul George and Kawhi cannot put up 24 points in a game seven. No. Combined. No. That's Meanwhile, J- Jamal Murray scores 40. That's honestly, honestly, I don't think they could do that individually. I think they need to – one of them got to get, like, 35 to 40. In a game. Be it's a fact. It's it's a fact. Be One yeah. of them got they got to dig fact. deep and like feel some emotion. Yes, and feel the pressure and say forget everything. I am. But you know what also was crazy? right now. And I another thing that got me tight. Mm-hmm. Doc Rivers said that after the game, some of the players were fatigued. They were too fatigued to keep playing. I'm, buying that. I'm not buying. They that. couldn't. They couldn't play more than two or three minutes since. Now I think some of the players he was talking about was Kawhi. First off. And then, secondly, it. it gets me tight because Denver just had a game seven. They they were playing more games of basketball That's what I'm not than the Clippers it. were. Mm-hmm. I think it's facts. I just think that the Clippers weren't prepared and because my son players weren't out. The, players were out off. the bubble. Trez was out the bubble. Lou was out the bubble. Speaking of Jokic, he went off. And I see him going off again. Like if if the Lakers is he really the best passing center of all time? Like they kept saying on that broadcast. I don't know if he's. I don't know if that's true. But he that might be. Bill true. Walton might really true. Bill Walton was nice with passing. He was. Bill but, uh, Walton, he, man, come on, yes. He was nice, I, but I don't uh, know any center that pass that pass. I don't agree, uh, honestly. I, 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 I'm I, not great. I, obviously, we weren't around, we weren't around for this, but they always say like Sabonis. Sabonis. I was gonna say the, the, the father. Yeah. The father. I was gonna say him. Yeah. Arvidas. And DeMontis. Come on, man. Arvidas DeMontis and DeMontis. A too, but, That's a fact. But Got him on my team. But jo- nah, Jokic is a different breed. I'd have to go back and watch those games. I really have to look at it. But from what I've seen in the modern era, or as long as I've been alive, I've well, Lamar seen Odom. No, not to that level. <laughs> He's a big man. Man, what, man? Not He's to a big level. man. He's a big Lamar man. Odom is better than Jokic. I don't care. What are you get out of here? Oh. I don't care what you have to say. See, no, 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 no. Now Clippers Josh needs to stand the hell up. Now Josh needs to apologize to Jokic. That's a For wild what? thing to say. That's Lamar wild. Odom is nice. But he's not better than Jokic. Not yes, right now. They both Maybe two years ago. Things. Maybe two years ago. Two years ago. He's, two years ago, he wasn't better than anybody. <laughs> he wasn't even doing nothing. Oh, Jokic? Wait, can you say? 
Lamar Odom. Oh, oh, no, he's saying that Jokic from two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. wait, no, no, no. <laughs> that's crazy to say that too. If because <laughs> I'm just trolling right now, but you're saying Lamar Odom was better than 2018 Jokic. That's yeah, a no, wild. I'm saying. not. Sa- I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying he's not. He's not better. Jokic right now is nice. Jokic is a top 20 player right now. Jokic and Jamal Murray are nice together. They have a great chemistry. What they're doing with that squad together, just playing for each other, that's what the Clippers mm. need to do. And I don't. I want to see how well that's going to work. Man, forget the Clippers. The forget the Los Angeles Clippers, man. Forget Man, them. you spent 45 minutes talking about the Clippers. I mentioned them forget one time. That. You're telling me forget about gonna, them? That's I'm, crazy. I'm going to be real with you. Let Thank me you. hear it. Donovan Mitchell scored 57. Jamal Murray scored 50, 40, and like 51 or something. Like the numbers like crazy. Mm-hmm. And I still don't know if well, any of them. Guys are going... And I still don't know if any of them moved up in, in ranking. Because there are so many nice players. Like, I don't know Joker's is just a top 20 player. It's a fact. It's a fact. I don't know. Yep. It's a fact. I don't know. You don't know if who's the top 20? Joker's. I do. I don't Because some don't players know. went down throughout the throughout the course of the season. I don't think so. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't you think, don't think you don't think Draymond went down throughout the course of the season? Draymond was, well, was he a top twenty player before? Yeah, yeah. I don't Draymond was ever top twenty. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait a second. This Some people were saying that. <laughs> Some people were saying that. 2018 who? people were saying who? that. Who are they? 2K. 2K who? was 2K? saying that. <laughs> 2K was saying that. Kevin who? Arlen. I'm adding you. What's the uh what's the what's the uh the Ronnie? pregame? The pregame? Who, 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 uh, that's Rachel Nichols? No. Ready? No, 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 no. The yeah. David Aldrich? David Aldrich. <laughs> Come on. Uh, David Aldrich. David, that's why was I said David Aldrich. Was it David Aldrich? No, that's why I press X. <laughs> was it David? I don't, wanna... fact, I don't listen to that. Was man. it David? Man, oh, man. Thanks, guy. <laughs> no, it's Thanks, David guy. Aldrich. No, but for real, Thanks, for real. I want to I wanna see. I want to see. <laughs> what the hell? I'm trying to play basketball. Now to David Aldridge, the pregame report. Just shut up, man. Thanks, Aldridge. I don't care. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> David. No, but for real, I want I want to see what the Nuggets because the Nuggets have utterly surprised me, and I want to see what they do against the Lakers. And I I don't know if this is gonna happen. What do you think is gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen. If I'm being honest, but I would love. What do you think? Those, I would be blown away. I would be utterly blown away if the Nuggets took this game to seven games and won. I would be blown away. I would if be. They go if down they, 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 they do that, go down if they do that, I was about if to they say. Do that, I'm watching basketball again. <laughs> 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 if that happens, I will you have watch nothing to be because then you have nothing to be upset about. That's what, 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 you be, what, do you be a Clippers fan again? <laughs> That's a good I question. I don't know. I that's don't a good know. question. That's, He'll that's be a Knicks so, fan. He'll be a Knicks honestly, fan from here on out. Stop bringing up Listen, the Knicks. Man, I was the Knicks saying, I'm not. To I'm not going to be a Knicks fan, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, They're in my blood. Me. I can't. I can't just not bring up the Knicks. I don't know. You if want I can me trust extract them from the my blood ever again? Just, just, just bleed on out. But at the same time, it's been too long. It's been too late. I don't know. I don't know what the Nuggets are. It's going to take a lot of. They're not going to. Uh, man. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what to expect from this team anymore. Because I thought they... Listen. I don't I, know, man. I don't, I don't know what to expect from this team anymore. Why are they here? <laughs> like, I don't... No, no, no. Like, no, no. I don't understand. No, no. The Nuggets, the Nuggets, I don't know. Nuggets, I really nice. don't That's understand. I don't the get Clippers it. The choked, okay? The Nuggets are going to lose. I'm not going to be... Bo- I'm not going to be fooled. I don't, man, I don't and, know. And tricked. What if this man the averages Nuggets like are going to get smacked up. What if Jamal Murray... What if Jamal Murray averages? He could. Hey, I mean, hey, he man, could do it. Who, who on that team is gonna hold him? Who on that team? Who's holding hold LeBron James? That's the key. That's that is the key. Yeah. That is the key. If, if LeBron key. plays, I tell you who's not the key. Who? Anthony Davis. Anthony you, Davis. And and the thing is with the Nuggets, because Jokic will guard him. In the first three games, the Clippers won. They were violating them, dominating them. Like it, it was just, it looked like there was no question that they were gonna beat them. Mm-hmm. So. If the Lakers in that same position, LeBron's not choking that lead. I'll tell you that. Le- LeBron's not aggressive, man. He's too smart for all that, man. Yeah, LeBron James. Don't come on, dominate. LeBron so. James isn't. I am a winner. Of, LeBron James is one of the. <laughs> and I will continue if, to win. If not was the oldie. smartest, if not the smartest player in the league, he, he, he's not going to underestimate that team. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell all the listeners out there: you need to start saying things like that when you wake up. I am a winner, and I will continue to win. Every morning, you wake up. Say something like that, and I promise you'll find great success in your life. Hey, I, my, that's word my, to LeBron or Raymond James. My alarm clock is that his middle name? Has a, yes. has a song. Wow. Hold on. What's what's your song? 
All I do is win, 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 no matter what. No. Throw I'm money in the tea. air. What? I was going to get some tea. You're okay, going to get some tea in the middle of the podcast? <laughs> it's sitting right there. No, no, no. What's that? Oh, that's a fence. That's a fence. That's my long fence. Born a winner. <laughs> Peace and blessings. I'm born a winner. Praise, praise to the most high. Born a winner. That's a long My alarm clock was Folgers Crystal by J. Cole. Interesting. But yeah, no, I don't know what the Nuggets are going to do. I really don't know. A whole lot of nothing, man. I really don't know. I want to see what they do. I want to see what they do. And Miami versus Celtics. Miami in five. I have, mm. ooh, I'm going to go Miami in six. I'm just going to watch good basketball. I'm not. I'm Daniel done talking Tice. about my, I'm not going to. I'm done talking about Miami because I clearly don't know anything about them. <laughs> I clearly don't know anything about You don't know anything about, about Jimmy Butler. That's all you don't know. That's a fact. Oh, man, Jimmy Buckets is nice. This is nice. Tonight, tonight, I've seen him made two elite defensive plays with those steals. Completely yeah, turned the game around. That was crazy. That Bro, was crazy. That he was chased crazy. it out, got the steal, throwing it behind his back, and got the assist. I will say this, though. I think the refs kind of... Violated the Celtics the, because right before all those okay. plays, the Celtics. I think it was like a one point game or so, or it was tied, and Kemba drew a charge, but they, they called it as a blocking foul. I remember mm, that. Yeah, and yeah, then, right, and right, then right. they and then they scored like two two threes after that. Like they had like a put back at two threes and yeah, right, yeah. that's it wasn't for Jalen Brown. They wouldn't have scored almost for the rest of the game. Like. That's what you got to watch with the refs, man. They be shifting momentum like crazy yeah. with their calls. Scott Foster. Scott Whoa. Foster. Coach you be shifting. Before. Come on, man. 2008. That's crazy. So, and finally, so and finally yeah, that brings us to – Sorry, give us a pick. Give us a with pick. the Nuggets. Give us a pick. With the give Nuggets, us a pick. I'll say. Wait, a pick of what? No, not you. Moderate. Me. What no, you we're not letting you off the hook. Give us a pick. What do you want? Who's you want? winning, Heat or Celtics? I'm going to say, because I've been betting against them this whole time, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to say Heat 6. Hmm. Interesting. You know, with the Nuggets, I think. But well, I'm going to say the Heat and Celtics, pause. I'm going to say the Heat are going to win too. Pause that on one second. But I do, I do kind of see the league really trying to amp up the Celtics That's Lakers. <laughs> I saw. I logged on to the NBA yeah. app yesterday. No, I'm sorry. It was this morning. And the first picture I see is AD, and right next to him is Jalen Brown. And I said, wait a second. Why would they even be close together? Why would they be playing on one another? <laughs> I see what you're doing, NBA, and you're not low. Put you're Daniel Tyson in that picture, man. You're not low. You're not Adam low. Silver. Robert <laughs> Williams. Well, Who is that? See. All I'm going to – all I'm gonna see, I'm just want to see what happens. Take. But I'm not. I expect the Heat to take it in six. I will not be surprised if the Celtics take it in seven. At this point, I would be surprised because I, the Heat are playing such great basketball, man. It's nice. That's they're, what they're seeing. They're one of the best defensive teams I've seen. Yeah, yeah. they're That's one fair. of the best defensive teams. They have no. They have no ego. They play the zone effectively. Like it, the reason why they don't play zone like that in the NBA is because of ego. Mm-hmm. Yep. A lot of people view the zone as like a, a high school defense. Or like, I can guard my man. Yeah, like they they, <laughs> they play they play it well. They play at the right times. Like, no. Nah. When that man Bam blocked that shot, he didn't even react. That was incredible. Just yeah, I was looking for him to like like. Make that team is disappointed. Get that out of here! Yeah, yeah. Hey. He, just looked, he, just, he just looked looked forward. No, that like, team I mean, is crazy disciplined. But and yes, that discipline is what's really going to take them. All the way. Well, the Nuggets, I think the reason I – another reason I don't think they're going to accomplish anything, I just don't think they're as talented as the Lakers, first of all. But secondly, they weren't I as think – They were as the Clippers. I was about to yes, say. that's a fact. But I think that them beating the Clippers – like, I've been reading a lot of people say, like, regardless of what happens to the Lakers, they already feel like the Nuggets won a championship of their own. Like that's a fact. I feel like teams, like as a player, you keep needing internal motivation to get uh, yeah, to the next point, yeah, to get to the next, to yeah. get to that next mountain. Yeah. Do you beat the Clippers and <laughs> they're gonna be hyped? They were, so, were they popping champagne. Yeah, they're popping champagne for a second round. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 They yes. Were. I remember watching they were that. Hyping, they were popping champagne. They were, they were hyping <laughs> each other up. So it's like. 
I mean, I don't like that. Walmart calling out Stephen A. I'm like, I'm like, LeBron is watching from the hotel room, bro. You know, like he's tight. He's getting tight. He's just his hands together like Birdman. Like, yeah, keep getting hype. Do you think it's a cakewalk for LeBron right now? That's that's what my point was alluding to. Was if they get close to that. Go ahead. Oh, no, I'm just saying, I probably think it is. It might be a kickwalk. I think so. But I was oh, going to ask. The only saving grace is Miami. But, yes, I was going to ask if, if, do they think, if it, if it ends up being a kickwalk, like, if they, like, sweep the Nuggets or something, and they beat Miami, do you think people, I mean, this is probably, this is definitely going to be a conversation in a later episode. Do you think people will be like, this ring isn't as valuable? Yeah, nah, I, I can't say that. He didn't go against that. like the top talent. See, because yeah, it's not his fault. That. The, the other and that's not his fault. They, they yeah, that's 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 not not his fault. I agree this, with you, Al. This, this man Andre said people like he's not talking about himself. <laughs> I'm not talking about myself. If he <laughs> wins, it's I'm not. I'm not putting an asterisk nah, on this. I'm not putting it. Hold on. Why? Are you? Are you? Are you? I'm not putting an asterisk. Alright. I'm not putting that. If he wins this series at how old is he right now? Thirty six. Whoa. Thirty five. 35, 35. He wins a ring 35. He's a finals MVP, and he's about to be crowned the MVP. That's not an asterisk. That's a great season. Do you think he's going to MVP? I, I highly see him winning MVP. I think Giannis might win it. Honestly. Giannis might win it, but if it's not Giannis, my next up is him. <laughs> but what I really think it is, I think Giannis probably won the vote, but the NBA is like, we can't give it to him now. I'm going to yep. him because the story looks better. Well, that's some I, BS. Guess. They can't do that. If they do that, they can't do it, but, but then I, I want an investigation. I want an investigation. They, they can't do it, but all the votes are, are secret. So that's a fact. No, 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 I demand an investigation. <laughs> investigate. Robert that's Mueller. Would know. Call him back. Get him back here. No, they're going to be tight. We need an LeBron's investigation on the NBA, the National Basketball fact. Association. A recount. No MVP this year. Cause that's the problem with that. us. Not doing the the award earlier at the end of the season like they used to do because they're sus. Mm-hmm. They're sus. All of them they are sus. They know who they want. They know who they wanted to give to. Just like they lines. know who they wanted they to give for, to. Yeah, they wait for yeah. They wait for to play. I out. was thinking like Look. all this. The yeah. NBA must be sick because they probably had all of this money that they invested into the battle of LA promotions. I made the ads already. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, 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 the league worked hard on that area. I made the league. ESPN worked on that area. Well. <laughs> send them, <laughs> yo, you know how they used to say that they would send all the losing teams in the finals shirts to Africa. Yeah, yeah. You're going to send all that promotion there too. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh. Wait, is that really what they do? I've heard that. Yeah, I heard that they've that been doing. That. I've heard that since 2013. Yeah, I've heard that for a long time. That they, that a bunch of Africans got the Spurs <laughs> shirts. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's not even funny. That's my stuff. That's crazy. It is my stuff, but I heard that, that happens. I did. I, I mean, is it messed up? I mean, is it, get, is get, it, it's any different than getting like, free clothes? Yeah, people. That's true. I mean. I just think it's funny to see a bunch of people wearing Spurs final shirts. 2013. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are you doing, bro? 2014 Miami Heat champions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. 2017 <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, man. 2007 Cleveland Cavaliers. Wait, wait. Everybody knew 2017, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where'd you get that, man? Where'd you I get feel that? like I feel like the... <laughs> I feel like the Nuggets are gonna give the Lakers trouble at the very I do too. That's Listen, what I'm man. saying. I, I, I gotta respect I them like that. Them. I can't. I can't, I can't just count them like that. A five game like thing. I think they're gonna win some games. I'm not, some ready, to, I'm not ready to discount them potentially. But if they get into a three one thing, like people are saying, they're not coming back. There's no way. LeBron will not let that happen. I don't know. Because Let's see what happens. The difference is like Paul George. I could tell when it was happening. Paul George is playing that game. As the pressure of the game and like everything that would come from it afterwards, you could it's tell in the game quarter. he was he was getting more and more pressure. He just looked stiff, whacker second, and whacker. The second mm-hmm. quarter, the it's, offense got choppy, just mm-hmm. whacker. It, it, whacker. It, like the end of the second quarter too, going into halftime. I was Looking like, okay, whack. what's going on here? Yo, what is, what, I was like, wait, like, what's going on? It's just leading up. It's like he got that that, that cold snowflake from two K. That's LeBron, exactly what happened. And he and it, I'm thinking he's probably thinking like. If we lose this game, oh man, it's gonna be a media snow like it's gonna be unforgivable. Mm. LeBron also could have that same fear. 
but he would use that energy to become even nicer to drop one hundred like, points. He's gonna drop a hundred points. <laughs> I'll still lose, but I'm dropping one hundred. I don't care. AD, you can drop one. And it'll be a fadeaway. It'll be a fadeaway from. Because we know you don't like to get in the poke. We know you don't like. We know you don't like to get busy in the paint. So go take that little elbow jumper. Yo, yo. Let Rajan Rondo's brother back into the bubble. <laughs> and with that, and with that, thank you for joining us for this episode Free. of Fast Breaks. Free Rondo's brother. Free bro. Rondo. Oh. Hey, we do nothing. <laughs> What's we're not even in the bubble anymore. Let him come back. <laughs> he said, yo. He, he said, like, my brother can shoot better than you, man. <laughs> so said, what? <laughs> you want to say that again? <laughs> yo. They need him. Wait, they need wait, him wait, for wait, the next series, uh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Did you all see uh, uh, Westbrook when he went back to the bench? He said, oh, bring him out here. He said, no, 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 no. Here. Well, Did you see <laughs> his eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his eyes when he was looking out there. He was, he was like. No, 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 he was, no, 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 he was, he was making, he's bean mucking him too, like, no blinking, no blinking, but Where the camera, and the camera is captured all of that, Where is like, he at? like, you're not, what's gonna happen here, we're gonna break a screen, <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, where's he at, go to his hotel room, you're in a hotel, yeah. you know where he's at, you're in a hotel, what he said, what kind of room, 814, all right, 814, find me there, find me there, Find me there. Oh my <laughs> God. Find me there. Man. He should have had that same energy for LeBron James. Oh no. Because you saw when you saw when Nah, because you saw when Westbrook shot that free throw. Hold and on. and he was like, You better double me, you can't guard me. And LeBron just started laughing at him. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yes. We can hear you. Westbrook wasn't saying nothing to him. Okay. And oh, LeBron was man. dunking on him too. LeBron was trying to treat him like he was Steph from a few years ago. All right, we gotta go. But a random thought: I wonder what that school in the bubble is like for the for the NBA players, kids. Oh, they made a school. They have a whole school. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering about yeah. these kids supposed to be in school. That's crazy. Nah, they have a school. That's for really crazy. I'm very interested. Like, like how do the, how the dynamics like. Like a school at Disney World. Like they, <laughs> these kids are going to school at Disney World. That's crazy. Tim That's Duncan, really do you crazy. think they learn anything about basketball? No. Basketball <laughs> fundamentals? Basketball. Why, Why not? That, that would basketball. be the best place to learn, man. That's yeah. a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. But hold on. So we, I got to go. Well, we are well, going to put on our finals predictions, and we're going to go from there. Conference finals. That's 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 now we hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Conference finals predictions. No, we gotta do it now. Bro, I thought he said finals predictions. Bro. No, he's breaking up. He's breaking up. That's uh, right. Can y'all can y'all hear me? Yes, yes. You're good. You're good. Hold on. All right. You're good. I'm Don't back. change anything. Don't change anything. You're good. Okay. So what I'm gonna say is finals predictions, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna say mine really quickly. Uh, just for just for clout, Nuggets Heat. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> oh man! Who's say? I'm gonna say Lakers. Listen, man. Whoever it is, I'm not watching it. <laughs> tell you that much. <laughs> nah, man. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh man. Heat and fire. Listen, 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 I'll say the Nuggets. If you beat us, you better do the whole damn thing. You feel better by yourself. You will feel better by yourself. That's the most respect I can give you. It's like you beat us, fair and square. You, you better also, accomplish the You the also the champions. You can't be mad. You also <laughs> the champions. You also the champions. Bro. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the Lakers go and win it all. I'm going to be sick. Oh, man. Heat in five, Nuggets in seven. Oh, this man is gone. Wait, All right, did I man. say Nuggets in seven? No, yeah, that's said Nuggets in seven. No, 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 no. And with that. Five, Lakers in seven. <laughs> Lakers in seven. Wait, Listen, man, say. The Nuggets are out of here, seven. just like Andre. <laughs> that's a fact. Close it out. <laughs> All right, man. This Peace. has been an episode of Fast Breaks with the Soapbox. It's been a pleasure having you all, and we'll see you guys next round. Oh, this episode, yeah. Peace and blessings.
That's a fact. <laughs> Peace and love, family. Peace and blessings. That's a fact.